alleviate. To alleviate pain or suffering means to make it less intense or severe. She needed something to alleviate the pain in her back. Astrology. Astrology is the study of the stars and the belief that they influence people's lives. Jack, who studies astrology, believes that the stars can predict the future. Differentiate. To differentiate things or people is to show the difference between them. It was hard to differentiate between the identical twins. Disrupt. To disrupt something or someone is to prevent them from working. The loud crash disrupted the class lecture. Equation. An equation is a math operation to determine the value of something. I use the Pythagorean theorem to solve the equation. Air. To err means to make a mistake. The pilot erred in his estimate of the time it would take to make the trip. Erroneous. When something is erroneous, it is incorrect or only partly correct. The child held the erroneous belief that time machines were real. Frantic. If people or things are frantic, they behave in a wild way because they are frightened. The cat became frantic when I tried to give it a bath. Hull. The hull of a boat or tank is the main body of it. After the wreck at sea, the ship's hull was the last part to sink. Inadvertent. When an action is inadvertent, it is done without realizing what you are doing. She made an inadvertent error when she knocked over the nail polish. Improvise. To improvise something is to do it with whatever is available or without planning. There was no meat for the pizza, so we improvised with what was in the fridge. Latitude. The latitude of a place is its distance from the equator. The device was able to tell the traveler his exact latitude. Mariner. A mariner is a sailor. The old mariner used his telescope to find the shore. Multitude. A multitude of things or people is a very large number of them. A multitude of people were waiting at the airport. Nuisance. A nuisance is a person or thing that is annoying or causes a lot of problems. The teenager considered her nosy little brothers to be quite a nuisance. Permanence. The permanence of something is its ability to last forever. Poor results will threaten the permanence of the new teaching system. Revolve. To revolve around something is to keep it as the main feature or focus. My life revolves around sports. Soothe. To soothe means to calm someone who is angry or upset. The mother soothed her crying baby by rocking him in her arms. Stranded. If someone is stranded, they are prevented from leaving a place. When the plane left, my sister and I were stranded in China. Volatile. When something is volatile, it is likely to change suddenly and unexpectedly. The volatile volcano might explode at any moment. The North Star. Among the multitude of stars in the universe, there are a couple that are of great importance to people on Earth. The Sun, of course, is one of them. The other is known as Polaris, the North Star. Polaris is special because it is the only star that always appears to be in the same place in the sky. Therefore, Polaris is a great compass. When people in the northern hemisphere of Earth look toward Polaris, they can be certain that they are facing north. The permanence of Polaris in the north sky has helped countless people find their destinations. Before the invention of modern navigation tools, mariners relied on Polaris. From the top of their hulls, sailors would look for Polaris to figure out their place at sea. They figured out the angle between the star and the horizon to determine their latitude. As long as the equations weren't erroneous, the results were very reliable. Polaris also let sailors determine north, south, east, and west. By knowing directions and their location, mariners could easily navigate their ships. To those who sail at night, 
Volatile storms and dark clouds were more than nuisances. They could disrupt entire journeys by blocking the view of Polaris. A captain could err and make an inadvertent wrong turn. The ship could become stranded at sea, and the frantic captain would have no way to improvise to get the ship back on the right course. The mariner's fears wouldn't be soothed until the clouds cleared and Polaris came back into view. Even today, sailors sometimes opt to navigate by using Polaris on clear nights. It's not difficult to differentiate Polaris from other stars. The Big Dipper, a constellation that is well known in astrology, appears to revolve around Polaris. The handle of the Big Dipper always points to the North Star. When people get lost, it's comforting to know that their problems can be alleviated by looking at the sky. Absurd. If something or someone is absurd, they are ridiculous. That group of people making animal noises sounds completely absurd. Anemia. Anemia is a blood condition that causes a person to be pale and tired. When she first developed anemia, she became tired often. Aristocracy. The aristocracy is the highest class of people in certain societies. Most members of the aristocracy were very well fed. Aristocrat. An aristocrat is a person who is of the highest class in certain societies. The aristocrat did not need a job because his family was wealthy. Attire. Attire is nice or special clothing. Everyone wore their best attire to the president's daughter's wedding. Craze. A craze is a brief and popular activity or object. Wearing bright red socks was a craze when I was in high school. Enlarge. To enlarge something means to make it bigger. The classrooms were enlarged over the summer to make room for more students. Excess. An excess is an amount of something that is more than needed or wanted. Because it never got cold that winter, many stores had an excess of coats. Feminine. If something is feminine, then it has qualities that are commonly related to women. Many of the older people thought his long hair made him look too feminine. Hallmark. A hallmark is a unique characteristic of something. Different types of pasta and tomato sauces are hallmarks of Italian food. Pad. A pad is a thick piece of soft material used to protect or clean things. Football players wear shoulder pads to keep them safe. Predominant. If something is predominant, then it is the most important, common, or strongest. Before cars were invented, horses were the predominant method of travel. Reputable. If someone or something is reputable, then they have a good reputation. The service from the less than reputable company made her angry. Rouge. Rouge is a red powder or cream used as makeup on the cheeks or lips. Even when she didn't wear rouge, her cheeks appeared red. Signify. To signify means to be a symbol of something. A red octagon is used to signify to stop. Strap. A strap is a thin, long piece of fabric used to fasten, carry, or hold something. She put the strap of her purse over her shoulder and walked out of the door. Tangle. A tangle is something or many things twisted together. The laces of his shoes were in such a tangle that he could not untie them. Vanity. Vanity is excessive pride or love of one's own appearance or things one has done. Her vanity won't allow her to pass a mirror without looking at herself. Vie. To vie for something means to compete against others for it. The three boys vied for the prize in the chemistry contest. Vulgar. If something or someone is vulgar, then they are rude or lacking in style. Her vulgar behavior got her into trouble with her parents. Dressed to excess. If you traveled back in time to the 1700s in Europe, 
You would laugh when you saw how the aristocracy dressed. Soon you'd realize, though, that the aristocrats of Europe were very serious about their appearance. The predominant style in women's attire was enormous dresses. They were often three times larger than the wearer. Ladies even used pads to enlarge the appearance of their hips and shoulders. On the other extreme, the aristocratic women made their waists appear extremely thin. It took several maids stretching fabric and pulling straps in order to get a lady's waist to the proper thinness. These ladies could barely breathe and often fainted. Pale skin was also a craze, yet this too was done in excess. One could not simply be pale. Instead, she needed to look as if she had anemia. In order to look paler, ladies actually cut themselves daily so they would bleed. The hairstyles, however, were the hallmark of women's fashion. These stood a meter high on the ladies' heads. The columns of hair were a ridiculous tangle of wigs, jewels, flowers, and even stuffed birds. Men's fashion was similarly absurd. Today it would probably seem very feminine. Reputable men wore wigs of long curly hair. Their shoes had large soles or high heels so that they could walk high above the filth on the streets. Furthermore, just like the ladies, the men wore lipstick and put rouge on their cheeks. Their clothes were brightly colored, often purple and pink. They were made from the finest of fabrics and decorated with jewels and lace. The men vied with one another to see who wore the more expensive clothes, for the clothing signified his wealth and status. Both men and women spent huge amounts of money and time on how they looked. Though such vanity would seem vulgar today, 300 years from now, the fashions of our time might also seem completely ridiculous. Attic An attic is a room just below a house's roof. There were two windows in their attic. Chunk A chunk is a thick, solid piece of something. When they broke open the rock, they saw it was filled with chunks of gold. Civic If something is civic, then it is related to a town or city, especially its government. Most of the important civic buildings are located downtown. Descent A descent is a movement downwards. During the space shuttle's descent, the Earth became larger and larger. Din A din is loud, unpleasant, and extended noise. The din of the rusty machinery made the factory a horrible place to work. Dissatisfy To dissatisfy someone means to fail to please them. He was dissatisfied with his meal. Fuss a fuss is excited or annoyed behavior that is not useful in any way. The child made an awful fuss because she didn't want to go to bed. Gourmet If food is gourmet, then it is nicer and more expensive than regular food. In order to get a gourmet meal, you have to eat at an expensive restaurant. Hence If something happens hence, then it happens as a result of something. John forgot the key, hence we couldn't open the door. Intrinsic If something is intrinsic, then it is related to the basic nature of that thing. Paper money has no intrinsic value. It is useful simply because society says it is. Kettle A kettle is a large metal pot used for boiling liquids or cooking food. The soup was being cooked in a large kettle. Ministry A ministry is a government department. The Ministry of Trade is responsible for taxing imports and exports. Ordeal An ordeal is a bad experience. Driving in the snowstorm was an ordeal she'd never forget. Outspoken if someone is outspoken, then they are not afraid to say what they think. She was an outspoken critic about the new banking laws. Overwork To overwork someone means to make them tired with too much work. After working for three weeks with only one day of rest, Judy was overworked. Particular If something is particular, then it is a single, important part of a group of things. The dress shop didn't have the particular dress she was looking for. Pungent If something is pungent, 
then it tastes or smells strong and sharp. The garlic made the soup taste so pungent that the chef wouldn't serve it. Snore. To snore means to make a loud noise each time a sleeping person breathes. It was impossible to get to sleep because my husband snored. Soundly. If something is done soundly, then it is done in the best or most complete way. The nearest opponent was 10 meters behind. She won the race soundly. Superintendent. A superintendent is a person who runs a certain department or building. The superintendent decided to close the schools because of the weather. The Butler's Bad Day. The superintendent of civic projects was a busy man. He worked every day of the week and had fancy parties at his house every night. However, if there was someone busier than him, it was his butler. He worked all day organizing the superintendent's parties and then cleaned up after them late at night. Hence, while the superintendent slept soundly, snoring loudly in his bed, the butler was still awake. Sadly, though the butler was always overworked, his profession's intrinsic nature demanded he never be outspoken. Therefore, his employer never knew the butler hadn't slept for several days. On any day, the butler might make a mistake. One day, the superintendent said, This particular party is important. People from the ministry are coming. Everything must be perfect. The butler began preparing at once. First, he went to the attic to get more chairs and tables. But, on his descent, he realized he needed to make the food. A gourmet dinner was necessary for such a party. He boiled water in a kettle for soup and chopped some beef into chunks. Just as he was starting the soup, he remembered that he had to sweep the veranda. As he was sweeping the veranda, he realized that he had to clean the sauna. By this time, the first guests had arrived. The veranda was still dirty. There were not enough chairs for the guests to sit on, and the soup tasted too pungent. Some guests were dissatisfied. They started to make a fuss, and the party was filled with a din of complaints. The superintendent's party was a disaster. He wondered why his butler had made so many mistakes. At last, the butler admitted to being exhausted. His boss felt pity for the butler. He had no idea the butler was so tired. He said, You should have told me earlier. Then we could have avoided this whole ordeal. Alternate To alternate means to switch back and forth between two things. The best exercise alternates muscle and heart strengthening. Apologetic. If someone is apologetic, they are sorry about something. The boy felt apologetic after losing his sister's favorite toy. Benign. If something or someone is benign, they do not hurt anyone. Many spiders look scary, but most are actually benign. Char. To char means to burn something so that it turns black. While Frank went inside to get the mustard, he accidentally charred the hot dogs. Clarify. To clarify means to make something easier to understand by explaining it. Drew tried to clarify all the functions of Michelle's new computer. Distress. Distress is the feeling of being upset or worried. Failing a class caused the student a lot of distress. Dogged. When someone's actions are dogged, they try hard to continue something. Her dad bought her a new jacket after her dogged request for one. Ensue. To ensue means to happen after something. After a few minutes of lightning, thunder ensued. Gasp. To gasp means to make a noise by quickly breathing in when surprised. John always gasps when watching a scary movie. Negotiate. To negotiate means to try to make an agreement through discussion. Mario and Joe took a long time negotiating the contract between the companies. Overdose. An overdose is an instance of taking or having too much of something. John's skin was burned from an overdose of sunshine.
Persuasion Persuasion is the act of making someone do or believe something. The persuasion of his argument convinced the customer to buy the laptop. Relay A relay is a race in which teams of runners or swimmers race against each other. Jerry was the fastest on his team, so he ran the last part of the relay. Reluctance Reluctance is a feeling of not wanting to do something. Jesse took out the trash with great reluctance. Restate To restate something means to say it again or in a different way. Mrs. Jones restated the test question to the class. Sesame Sesame is an herb that is grown for its small seeds and its oil. I used the buns with the sesame seeds on them. Sip To sip something means to drink a small amount at a time. Liza relaxed on the beach sipping fruit juice through a straw. Verge The verge is the point at which something is about to happen. Joan was on the verge of leaving her house when the phone rang. Wary If someone is wary, they are cautious or mistrusting. She was wary of going to school because she hadn't done her homework. Waver To waver is to be unable to decide between two choices. I wavered between eating the apple or the cake for a snack. A bet Russell finished running a relay and joined his friend Becky in the cafeteria. He asked, What's for lunch? Sesame chicken. It's okay except the meat's charred. Oh, and watch out for the chili peppers, Becky said. Chilies don't bother me, said Russell. My stepmother says you should be careful with them, replied Becky. An argument ensued about eating chilies. Chilies aren't so bad. I bet I can take more bites of this chili than you, Russell said. Becky was wary of eating the pepper. Despite her reluctance, she didn't want to say no to the bet. She wavered about whether to do it or not. She negotiated the details. What will the winner get? She asked. The loser has to carry the winner's books for a year. I'll even let you go first. Becky replied, Fine, but to clarify, you'll carry my books for the entire school year, right? Russell restated the agreement. That's right. I'll carry your books all year if you win, which you won't. His dogged persuasion convinced her. The chili looked benign, but Becky knew it could cause a lot of pain. She bit the bottom of the pepper. Surprisingly, she felt nothing. My turn, said Russell. He bit the middle of the chili. Immediately, he seemed to be in distress. He gasped, and his face alternated between brave and pained expressions. He experienced an overdose of spice. He was on the verge of tears and finally let out a horrible cry. Take this, said Becky, handing him her drink. That was awful, he said, continuing to sip from the glass. That night, Becky researched chilies. The next day, she said in an apologetic voice, I read that the hot part of chilies is in the middle, where the seeds are. I'm sorry, I feel like I cheated by going first. Russell was relieved. Not only did he learn something new about chilies, but he learned that Becky was a good friend. Ashore If something goes ashore, it goes from water to the land. After a long day of fishing, Glenn pulled his boat ashore so it wouldn't float away. Contradict To contradict means to state the opposite of what someone else has. Ken was always fighting with his little sister because she kept contradicting him. Counterpart A counterpart is something that is very similar to something else in what it does. Our manager will meet our rival company's counterpart later today. Devoid When something or someone is devoid of a thing, they are missing it. The movie was devoid of any violence, so it was a perfect movie for the family. Diverge To diverge is to become different or to follow a different direction. The road diverged into two paths that led to our houses. Elude To elude means to avoid being caught by something. The rabbit eluded the wolf by hiding in a bush. Embryo An embryo is a human or animal that is still growing inside its mother.
Some doctors say that what a mother eats has a big effect on her embryo. Fend. To fend off something means to push it away and avoid it. Dave spent all night fending off bugs instead of sleeping. Fictitious. When something is fictitious, it is made up and not real. The author said that the characters in her book were completely fictitious. Gazette. A gazette is a newspaper. Alice wants to write for a gazette when she's older. Homogeneous. If something is homogeneous, it is made up of things which are all the same. All of the houses on Victor's block were boring and homogeneous. Obstruct. To obstruct something means to get in its way. The car broke down on the road and obstructed traffic for hours. Plunge. To plunge means to move down into something very quickly. The water in the pool was very cold, but the boy plunged in anyway. Prolong. To prolong means to make something last for a longer time. Sandy walked slowly across the beach, trying to prolong her lunch break. Publicize. To publicize is to make something get a lot of attention. The company publicized the job positions in the newspaper. Sparse. If something is sparse, there is not very much of it in a big area. Rob spent Saturday in his garden, clearing out the sparse weeds. Surplus. A surplus is an extra amount of something. The store sold their surplus items on sale. Theorize. To theorize means to develop ideas about something. They enjoyed theorizing about how things worked. Verify. To verify means to find out if something is true. Julian called the movie theater to verify that the movie started at nine. Vigorous. If something or someone is vigorous, they use a lot of energy. Henry uses vigorous exercise to keep himself in shape. Amazing Komodo Dragons. Once, a British Gazette had an unusual story. Scientists at a zoo made a discovery about Komodo dragons. Komodo dragons are giant lizards that grow up to two and a half meters long. A female lizard at the zoo had babies. However, it had never been around a male lizard in its entire life. After the scientists publicized their discovery, many people thought it was fictitious, but it was true. It was discovered that female Komodo dragons can have babies without the help of their male counterparts. This contradicts what scientists know about how most animals have babies. In most cases, there are many things that can obstruct this type of reproduction. For example, adult males and females carry different genes needed to make an embryo. If the genes are homogeneous, the babies are weaker and have genetic problems. Over time, the weakened species dies out completely. This makes it necessary for the male to be involved. However, scientists verified that when Komodo babies are born, their genes aren't the exact same genes as their mother. Also, they are devoid of any genetic problems. Scientists theorize that Komodo dragons develop the ability because it helps the species fend off extinction. If a volcano erupts, lava can kill all of the Komodo dragons on an island. However, as long as one female eludes death, she can prolong the survival of the species. Luckily, Komodo dragons are vigorous swimmers, so the surviving female can plunge into the ocean and swim to another island. When she comes ashore, she can reproduce by herself. Over time, the genes within the population diverge. Then the sparse population increases. Once again, there was a surplus of lizards on one island. Scientists think that this may be how the lizards took over all of the islands in that area. Altar. An altar is a table used in churches. The altar had many lit candles on it. Arthritis. Arthritis is an illness causing pain and swelling in a person's joints. Agatha couldn't play the piano anymore because of her arthritis. Botany. 
Botany is the study of plants. Gardens are the best places for botany. Credible. If something or someone is credible, they can be believed or trusted. Dick gave a credible reason for being late and didn't get in any trouble. Deceased. If someone is deceased, they are dead. We visited the graves of our deceased grandparents. Deception. Deception is the act of lying or tricking someone. The magic looked very real, but it was only deception. Decipher. To decipher writing is to figure out what it says. My teacher complained that she couldn't decipher my essay. Dung. Dung is solid waste material produced by animals. There was cow dung all over the field. Dusk. Dusk is the time in the evening when it begins to get dark. After dusk, Hannah would catch fireflies in the park. Gratify. To gratify someone means to please them. Bonnie was gratified after receiving her gift from her parents. Hone. To hone something is to improve it and make it very good. Lisa honed her chess skills by hours and hours of practice. Mash. To mash something is to crush it so that it is soft. We mashed the hard potatoes and served them for dinner. Ornate. If something is ornate, it is decorated with a lot of fancy things. Kim's prom dress was very expensive since it was so ornate. Pneumonia. Pneumonia is a dangerous illness causing the lungs to fill with fluid. Elaine got pneumonia after playing outside in the rain without a coat. Psychic. When someone is psychic, they know what will happen or what people think. I think my grandmother has psychic abilities because she can predict anything. Psychotic. If someone is psychotic, they have a very serious mental illness. The psychotic patient believed he saw things that weren't real. Scope. The scope of something is how many people or things it relates to. Modern history has a wide scope. Sinister. If something or someone is sinister, they are evil. Bad guys in most movies have sinister laughs. Strife. Strife is disagreement or fighting between people or groups. There was a lot of strife between Jim and Lisa about what TV show to watch. Therapeutic. If something is therapeutic, it helps to cure a disease or makes you healthier. After a stressful day of working, Phoebe would take a therapeutic bath. Greek Magical Papyri The Greek Magical Papyri is a collection of writing about magic. After it was found in the Egyptian desert, it took experts years to decipher it. The text was written in at least three different ancient languages. After many years, experts realized it contained a number of spells that varied greatly in scope. The most common types of magic in the collection dealt with healing illnesses like pneumonia. Some spells also gave advice for treating people with mental illnesses, such as those who became psychotic. Some spells asked for unusual things, like crocodile dung. But botany was an important part of the magic. Many healing spells gave instructions on how to use herbs and plants that were believed to be therapeutic. For example, in order to cure arthritis, the book says that the magician should build an ornate altar. Then he should mash different types of herbs and place them on top of it. At dusk, he is supposed to say a spell so the gods would be gratified. Other parts of the collection describe how to hone one's psychic abilities and how to give credible descriptions of the future. Often the book advised people how to use different objects to tell the future, including tea leaves. Also, one part of the book tells what different dreams might mean. It gives advice for using dreams to tell the future. A small part of the book, however, is more sinister than the rest. It is meant to cause strife and deception. For example, one tells how to give someone warts, while another will make all of the victim's farm animals die. However, if someone's farm animals died as a result of a curse, 
he could ask a magician to perform magic that makes the deceased come back to life. Congested If something is congested, it is full or blocked. Tom didn't get home until after dark because the road was so congested. Courier A courier is someone who takes and delivers mail or packages. Before trains, most couriers used horses to travel. Deform To deform something means to change it from its correct or original shape. The computer program deformed the building's picture into an unreal sight. Etiquette Etiquette is the group of rules about how to be polite. When in Asian countries, bowing is a form of etiquette. Exclusive If something is exclusive, it is expensive and only for rich people. The golf course was so exclusive that most people hadn't even heard of it. Freight Freight is a set of items carried on a train, boat, or airplane. Trade ships only carried valuable freight like silk and spices. Garment A garment is a piece of clothing. The businessman had all of his garments cleaned before the important meeting. Insomnia Insomnia is a condition in which a person has difficulty sleeping. Nate's insomnia prevented him from getting enough rest. Intuitive Intuitive is knowing about something without naturally having support or proof. Rhonda had an intuitive feeling that Shane wasn't coming to school today. Liable If something is liable to happen, it is very likely that it will happen. During the summer months, hikers in the forest are liable to see deer and elk. Obsess To obsess about something means to think about it all of the time. After watching the Star Wars movies, Ike obsessed about becoming a Jedi. Overboard When something is overboard, it is over the side of a boat and in the water. Tom and Gary slipped on the wet floor and fell overboard. Premium A premium is a payment that is higher than average. Tony paid for premium gas because it made his car run the best. Privilege A privilege is a special right given to only a certain person or group of people. Only the best employee had the privilege of parking in that spot. Propel To propel something means to push or move it somewhere. The strong wind propelled the leaf through the air and across the street. Socialize To socialize is to have a good time with people. I like to socialize with my classmates after school. Suppress To suppress something means to prevent it from happening. She suppressed her urge to scream because she didn't want to be noticed. Tram A tram is a vehicle like a streetcar that runs on electricity above ground. I took the tram to 8th Avenue. Unsettle To unsettle someone means to make them anxious or worried. The dark clouds in the sky unsettled Beth. Warp To warp means to become bent into the wrong shape. The woman put the clock above the fireplace, and the heat warped it. Watch out! Kevin stepped off the tram and walked toward the ship, holding a package tightly in his hands. He had been hired as a courier for an important broker. All he needed to do was deliver a package to an office in New York City. The ship would take him there. When he boarded, the ship was congested with people. As Kevin walked to his cabin, he saw the exclusive first-class section. Everybody inside was wearing fancy garments. He would have liked to socialize with the people inside, but it was against proper etiquette. People paid a premium for the privilege to ride in first class. Instead, he went to his cabin next to the freight section of the boat. His room smelled bad, and the floorboards were warped and deformed in some areas. He could also hear the motor humming as it waited to propel the ship forward. Suddenly, Kevin was unsettled by something, but he wasn't sure why.
He took a short walk on the ship's deck, but he still felt strange. That night, he suffered from insomnia. He couldn't suppress his obsessing over how strange he felt. Kevin went back on deck. It was cold and dark outside. He looked overboard, but it seemed that everything was all right. Just go back inside, he thought. Then Kevin saw it. A giant iceberg was sticking out of the ocean in the distance. Help! he yelled. People looked at him as if he was crazy, but he continued to shout until he saw the captain. There's an iceberg out there, Kevin said to him. If the ship doesn't move, we're liable to crash, he said, pointing toward the iceberg. The captain saw it and immediately instructed the crew to change the ship's direction. Without your help, we would have definitely hit the iceberg. That would have been a terrible disaster, he said to Kevin. Kevin felt relieved. Now he knew to always trust his intuitive sense. Artery An artery is a tube that takes blood from the heart to the rest of the body. Eating healthily keeps your arteries clean so blood can flow with ease. Deterioration Deterioration is the act of becoming worse. The lack of care led to the deterioration of the house. Elusive. If something or someone is elusive, they are hard to find. The elusive fish only came out at night. Forage. To forage means to look around for food. Many animals hide food in the fall since little can be foraged in winter. Impede. To impede something means to keep it from moving or going forward. The barrier impeded our ability to get closer to the building. Induce. To induce something means to make it happen. Running without good shoes may induce leg pain. Inseparable. If two things are inseparable, they can't be separated. Denise and Diana have been inseparable since they first met. Invalid. If something is invalid, it is not correct. The way to winning debates is to avoid invalid arguments. Magnify. To magnify something means to make it look bigger than it really is. Astronomers use telescopes to magnify faraway stars. Mainstream. The mainstream is a group of ideas that are considered normal and accepted. Before punk rock music became part of the mainstream, only a few people liked it. Microbe. A microbe is a very small living thing that often makes people sick. The first step in curing a disease is finding the microbe that causes the disease. Negligible. If something is negligible, it is extremely small and not important. The amount she owed was negligible. It was less than 10 cents. Paralysis. Paralysis is the loss of the ability to move all or part of your body. His paralysis meant that he had to use a wheelchair to get around. Pest. A pest is an animal or insect that hurts plants or food. Many farmers put up scarecrows to keep pests off of their corn. Prevail. To prevail means to be accepted or very common. Unfortunately, injustice still prevails in the country's court system. Respiration. Respiration is the act of breathing. Artificial respiration is the best thing to do if someone stops breathing. Rupture. To rupture means to tear or burst open. Sarah put too much water into the balloon and it ruptured. Savage. If something or someone is savage, they are very violent or cruel. Wild animals are very savage when defending their babies. Stun. To stun someone means to make them unable to speak due to surprise or shock. Tim fell off the swing and was too stunned to cry. Susceptible. If one is susceptible to something like disease, they are easily harmed by it. 
Not eating enough vegetables makes you more susceptible to getting sick. Dangerous bites. There are many animals with dangerous bites in the world, but which one is the worst? Some would say that the elusive short tailed mamushi has the worst bite. The snake only goes into homes to chase pests such as mice. Otherwise, it stays in the fields where it's dangerous to people who forage for food there. If someone stuns it by accidentally stepping on it, it bites to protect itself. At first, the effects of the bite may seem negligible because it doesn't cause a lot of bleeding. However, after a few moments, the venom induces paralysis in the area where the individual was bitten. Furthermore, the venom can also impede respiration. If the person doesn't go to the doctor, they are susceptible to kidney deterioration. Others would argue that tigers have the worst bite. Mother tigers are inseparable from their babies. And seem to be the gentlest creatures when they are around their young. However, if the babies are threatened, the mother tiger's savage nature prevails. With strong jaws and the ability to move quickly, the tiger can kill someone with one bite. That's because it always tries to bite an important artery when it attacks. If the artery is ruptured, the victim will bleed to death. In the mainstream, animal bites are seen as the most dangerous. But some scientists think this idea is invalid. In fact, the most dangerous bite might be the human bite. When scientists magnified the contents in human saliva, they found about 300 different microbes in it. A human bite can be dangerous if the bacteria enters the body through a cut, which can make people very sick. Furthermore, most people don't realize how serious a human bite can be, so they don't go to the doctor right away. This gives the wound a chance to get infected and cause more problems. Accumulate. To accumulate something is to collect a lot of it over time. The mail accumulated in their mailbox while they were on vacation. Aerial. When something is aerial, it relates to being in the air or flying. The aerial photographer took pictures from the air balloon. Apparatus. An apparatus is a device used for a particular purpose. The campers had an apparatus that showed them their exact location. Avalanche. An avalanche is a large amount of snow, ice, and rock falling off a mountain. The avalanche destroyed the mountain village. Consistency. Consistency is the state of always behaving in the same way. Her consistency in archery meant that our team had a chance to win. Convection. Convection is the flow of hot air through gas or liquid. The weather changed because of convection in the atmosphere. Discharge. To discharge someone is to allow them to leave from a place, usually a hospital. I was discharged from the hospital after three days. Intact. When something is intact, it is complete and not damaged. Despite being over 10 years old, my father's model ship is still intact. Mortal. When a person is mortal, they cannot live forever. All people are mortal. Omen. An omen is a sign of what will happen in the future. He thought that seeing a black cat in the street was an omen of bad luck. Overcast. When the sky is overcast, it is full of clouds and is not sunny. The sky was overcast in the morning, but by noon it was bright again. Poignant. When something is poignant, it causes a very strong feeling of sadness. The girls cried at the end of the poignant movie. Ranger. A ranger is a person who protects the forest or parks. Peter wanted to be a ranger because he liked spending time outside. Rubble. Rubble is piles of broken stone and wood created after a building is destroyed. There was rubble all over the city after the earthquake. Seclude. To seclude someone means to keep them away from other people. She was secluded on an island for over a year. Sideways. If something moves sideways, then it moves to or from the side. Jim turned sideways in order to slow down and stop his snowboard.
Sob. To sob is to cry loudly. I sobbed when my youngest daughter got married. Sober. When something or someone is sober, they are serious and calm. After the funeral, everybody felt very sober. Speck. A speck is a very small mark or amount. A speck of blood appeared where the mosquito bit him. Upbringing. An upbringing is the way that someone is taught to behave by their parents. He had a strict upbringing and was never allowed to watch television. The Avalanche. Randy was a forest ranger. Because of his job, he was secluded in a cabin in the wilderness. One day, the radio reported Convection in the atmosphere is causing a lot of clouds to form. A serious storm. Suddenly, the radio went silent. The signal was lost. He went outside and looked at the overcast sky. Anybody else would have taken the dark sky as an omen of a very bad storm, but not Randy. His upbringing had taught him consistency. He had done this job for years, and nothing could stop him. Besides, he thought nothing could hurt him. Today, he had a very important task to do. The snow was starting to pile up high on the mountain. If too much accumulated, it could cause an avalanche. But Randy had an apparatus to get rid of the snow. It used dynamite to shake the snow and make the top layer of snow come down. As the snow started falling, he thought about returning to the office until the storm stopped, but he decided not to. Suddenly, he heard a loud noise behind him. It was an avalanche. He started to run, but within seconds, he was knocked sideways and buried by the snow and rubble from an old cabin that had been destroyed. An aerial rescue team came quickly. Randy was just a speck amongst the great pile of snow, but the team found him thanks to his brightly colored jacket. They quickly took him to a hospital. After a few hours, Randy woke up in the hospital. He looked at the sober faces of the doctors and saw his wife sobbing. What's wrong? he asked. He didn't remember what had happened. You were almost killed, his wife said. You broke several ribs. But the rest of you is still reasonably intact. You are really lucky to be alive, the doctor said. After five days, Randy was discharged from the hospital. The experience had taught him a poignant lesson. He was immortal, and nature was much more powerful than him. Advocate To advocate a plan or idea is to support or suggest it in public. The group advocated increased spending on education and schools. Authorize. To authorize something means to give permission for it. The mayor authorized the construction of a new statue in the park. Civilian. A civilian is someone who is not in the military. It was Todd's job to keep civilians from entering the army facility. Commodity. A commodity is something that can be bought or sold. Fran's uncle made most of his money trading commodities. Conquest. A conquest is an event by which one country takes over another country. After the conquest, the people of the small city had no freedom. Disclose. To disclose something means to tell it to someone else. John came home late, so he had to disclose his activities to his wife. Dynamics. The dynamics of a situation are the way that parts of it affect each other. A good psychologist needs to know a lot about the dynamics of brain disorders. Enroll. To enroll in something is to put one's name on a list as a member of a group. The students had to enroll in the class one semester in advance. Envious. When someone is envious, they want something that another person has. They were envious of their neighbor's front yard. Euphoria. Euphoria is a feeling of extreme happiness. The athlete felt euphoria after he won the important game. Festive. When something is festive, it is happy and related to a party or celebration. Dean's favorite part of Christmas is the festive clothing that people wear.
Jolly. When someone is jolly, they are cheerful and happy. My grandmother's jolly attitude always made me smile. Lentil. Lentils are very small beans that people cook and eat. Danny made her special soup with lentils when her husband was sick. Marshal. To marshal a group means to assemble them in order. The students were marshaled outside and put into groups. Morale. Morale is the amount of hope that people have during a difficult situation. To improve our family's morale, Mom suggested going on a picnic. Prophecy. A prophecy is a prediction about what will happen in the future. Some people believe that prophecies are actually true. Sage. A sage is someone who is very wise. Hal always visited the local sage for help with love. Senate. A senate is a part of the government in some countries. Everybody liked Caroline and chose her to speak for them in the senate. Sentiment. A sentiment is an opinion based on your feelings. Tess told everyone at the table her sentiments about eating meat. Unrest. Unrest is a state of anger about something among the people in a place. High taxes caused much of the unrest that led to the Revolutionary War. The Lydian King. King Croesus was once one of the richest kings in the world. He ruled over Lydia, an ancient empire located near modern day Turkey, and controlled a valuable commodity gold. Many people were very envious of him. One day, a messenger disclosed some interesting news. Political unrest in Persia had weakened the empire. Before then, the Persians had taken over many countries. Many leaders were scared of the Persian conquest. But King Croesus understood the dynamics of war better than most. He decided that it would be a good time to try to beat the Persians while they were weak. He advocated starting war, but nobody shared his sentiment. Then he asked a wise member of the Senate who was visiting from Athens. The sage didn't say whether he should attack the Persians or not, he only warned him that his good luck wouldn't last. Finally, King Croesus sent a messenger to visit the oracle, a special lady who could see the future. The messenger gave the oracle jugs of wine and baskets of lentils in order to make her happy. When the messenger came back, he was in a festive mood. What was the oracle's prophecy? asked King Croesus. The jolly messenger responded, She said that if you attack Persia, you will destroy a great empire. The news filled Croesus with euphoria. After hearing the oracle's prophecy, many civilians enrolled in the Lydian army. The king marshaled his troops and prepared them for a war with Persia. Their morale was high because they were sure they would win. Soon King Croesus authorized an attack against the Persians. However, the Persian army was still very strong. After a few months of fighting, it was obvious that the oracle's prophecy had come true. By attacking the Persians, King Croesus had destroyed a great empire. His own. King Croesus should have considered the advice more carefully. Adorn. To adorn something means to make it more beautiful by decorating it. Small glass beads adorned the vase. Bliss. Bliss is a state of complete happiness. Every time he sees his girlfriend, he feels a sense of bliss. Butler. A butler is the most important male servant in a wealthy house. Whenever he needed something, he rang a bell and the butler appeared. Cramp. A cramp is a strong pain caused by a muscle after a lot of physical use. After the marathon, Jenny got a terrible cramp in her calf muscle. Dilapidated. When a building is dilapidated, it is old and in bad condition. Paint peeled off of the old dilapidated apartment building. Evoke. To evoke a memory or emotion means to make it occur. The picture evoked memories of when grandmother was a girl. Farewell. A farewell is an instance of saying goodbye or a way to say it. She got on the plane after we said our farewells. Faucet. 
A faucet is a device that controls the flow of a liquid or gas. Turn off the faucet when you are done brushing your teeth. Filth. Filth is a large amount of dirt or dirty things that disgust you. There was tons of filth and trash on the shore of the river. Flaw. A flaw is a mistake in something that causes it to be less effective or correct. We discovered a major flaw in the metal chain. Grin. To grin means to smile broadly. That joke makes me grin every time I hear it. Housekeeping. Housekeeping is the maintenance of a house or an establishment like a hotel. Housekeeping is not much fun, but it has to be done. Mound. A mound of something is a large pile of it. There was a mound of clothes on the messy teenager's floor. Numb. When a body part is numb, it does not have any feeling. After holding my hand under the icy water, my fingers went numb. Reckless. When people are reckless, they act in an unsafe way. The reckless driver posed a threat to everyone else on the road. Slate. Slate is a dark gray rock that can easily be split into layers. The roof of the church was made of slate. Stool. A stool is a seat with legs but no support for a person's arms and back. I don't find stools very comfortable to sit on. Testament. A testament to something shows that it exists or is true. The beautiful performance was a testament to the singer's natural talents. Timber. Timber is wood that is used for building houses and making furniture. Trees in this area are grown specifically to be used for timber. Valve. A valve is a device attached to a pipe that controls the flow of liquid or air. The mechanic removed the dirt to clear the engine valve. The butler. Greta was an elderly lady who lived alone in a huge, dilapidated mansion. The mansion was in terrible condition. It was covered with filth, and most of the furniture was broken. Plus, the kitchen sink leaked water all over the floor. Greta was too old to do housekeeping and repairs herself, so she hired a butler named Gordon. Gordon was a young, muscular man. His muscles were a testament to his strong work ethic. He believed that if he worked hard, Great things would happen for him. On his first day, he worked for hours cleaning and making repairs. He swept up mounds of dirt. He tightened the valve underneath the kitchen faucet to stop the leak. He even bought timber to build new stools for the kitchen. He worked so hard that his fingers went numb and he got cramps in his shoulders. Gordon worked hard every day. Even when tasks were boring, he was never reckless. He made sure there were no flaws in his work. Gordon was worried, however, that Greta wasn't pleased. She never expressed thanks or said that he did a good job. The lack of appreciation evoked unhappy feelings in Gordon. He even thought about quitting. But he decided the right thing to do was to keep working hard. One day while Gordon was sweeping, Greta said, Gordon, I have a surprise for you. He went to Greta's room and saw a beautiful slate statue. It looked just like him. It was adorned with a banner that read, Welcome home. Greta said, You've made this ugly old mansion look new again. I'm so thankful for your hard work that I want you to have it. I'll move into a smaller house. He grinned and gave Greta a big hug. He said, I'm in bliss. My hard work really paid off. The two said their farewells and Gordon spent the afternoon admiring his beautiful new home. Certify To certify something means to confirm that its results are true. The photograph on her passport certified that she was indeed Jolene Sawyer. Collaborate To collaborate means to work together on something. When they collaborated, they managed to finish their chores early. Compile 
To compile things means to collect a variety of them into a group. She compiled a list of people who she wanted to attend her birthday party. Counteract. To counteract something means to act against it in order to reduce or stop it. Medicine is supposed to counteract illnesses. Curb. To curb something means to prevent it from happening or increasing. She curbed her anger by listening to a relaxing song. Diagnose. To diagnose someone means to identify the medical condition they have. Several of the children were diagnosed with the flu. Enact. To enact something means to make it into a law. The council enacted a law that would only allow buses to drive downtown. Federation. A federation is a group of states or businesses working for a common cause. The United Nations is a federation designed to prevent war, disease, and famine. Gross. If something is gross, then it is disgusting. The food was so gross that the dog couldn't eat it without feeling sick. Humane. If something is humane, then it is good and kind. Helping build homes for poor people is very humane. Intolerable. If something is intolerable, then it is so bad that people cannot bear it. The weather was so intolerable that I had to put on my warmest clothes. Needy. If someone is needy, they are very poor. After he lost his job, he became very needy. Onset. The onset of something unpleasant is the beginning of it. At the onset of the battle, the enemy wasn't prepared for such a large attack. Pledge. To pledge means to make a promise to do something. Her mother pledged that she would find her daughter's lost kitten. Prohibit. To prohibit something means to not allow it. She prohibited the students from speaking until their work was done. Rash. A rash is an infected area of the skin with redness, bumps, itching, or dryness. The new perfume left a horrible rash on my skin. Render. To render something means to make it become something else. His report was rendered unimportant by the release of new information. Smallpox. Smallpox is a disease that causes tiny bumps on the skin and high fevers. When she saw the tiny bumps, she thought her son might have smallpox. Transmit. To transmit something means to pass it from one person or place to another. The radio tower transmits a signal to all the radios in a 20 kilometer radius. Vow. To vow means to make a promise to do something. Before they are allowed to work, All senators must vow to never accept bribes. The End of Smallpox Smallpox was once the most deadly disease in the world. During the 1800s, more than 20 million people got the disease every year. Of those, nearly half died. At the onset of smallpox, people suffered from high fevers, headaches, vomiting, and aching muscles. Yet the worst symptom of all was an intolerable rash. That caused irritation on the entire body. Those who survived the disease were often rendered blind or left with gross scars on their face and body. Today, however, cases of smallpox are very rare due to the work of many countries during the late 1900s. This federation of countries collaborated to completely destroy smallpox. Early in the century, wealthy countries in Europe and North America had developed a substance that made the body immune to smallpox. They had required all their citizens to get this vaccine to counteract the disease. Hence, the people of these countries no longer had to worry about smallpox. However, many of the needy people in poorer parts of the world still suffered from the disease. Their countries could not afford the vaccine nor supply enough doctors to curb the spread of smallpox. In 1950, the wealthier countries of the world vowed to free the world of the disease. They pledged to supply the vaccine to any country that could not afford it. 
scientists compiled lists of areas where the disease still thrived. Then doctors diagnosed people who had the disease in these areas. They enacted laws that prohibited people with smallpox from mixing with those who did not. In this way, they could not transmit the disease to others. Then the doctors gave all of them the vaccine. It took a long time and a lot of work. But nearly 30 years later, on December 9, 1979, a group of scientists certified that smallpox had been successfully stopped. The humane efforts of people from all over the world had accomplished a great task. Camouflage Camouflage is something used to hide people and things. The green and brown camouflage was best used for hiding in forests and jungles. Contemplate To contemplate something means to think about it. Mark took a moment to contemplate the math problem before solving it. Contend To contend with something means to struggle to overcome it. Stacy had to contend with a learning disability throughout high school. Cot A cot is a small portable bed. At the camp, the boys' cabin was lined with cots. Enlist To enlist means to join the military. In their final year at school, the students were asked to enlist in the military. Frontier a frontier is a border between two regions or countries. A fence was built along the frontier where the river curved. Handbook A handbook is an item that gives specific information or instructions. If you look at the handbook, it will tell you which wires to connect to the TV. Hesitant If someone is hesitant, then they are not sure or slow in acting or speaking. Though he knew the answer, he was hesitant to say it because he might be wrong. Lush If something is lush, then it is full of a variety of large, healthy plants. The lush jungle was filled with plants, trees, and vines. Marrow Marrow is the soft substance in the center of bones. Dissolved marrow is a common ingredient in soups. Outfit An outfit is a set of clothes worn together, often for a certain job or event. Callie's new outfit made her look so glamorous. Paw A paw is an animal's foot that has claws or soft bottoms. The kitten cleaned its paws with its tongue. Quiver To quiver means to tremble or shake. The flame on the candle quivered whenever someone opened or closed a door. Splendid If something or someone is splendid, then they are very good. From his head down to his shoes, his clothes looked splendid. Stray To stray means to go in a wrong direction and often become lost. He found himself lost because he had strayed from the tour group. Substantial If something is substantial, then it is of great importance, size, or value. The bank said that he owed it a substantial amount of money. Torch A torch is a stick with one end on fire that can be carried in order to give light. He grabbed a piece of wood and stuck it in the fire in order to make a torch. Tract A tract is a large area of land. On the other side of the mountains was a long tract of forest. Vigil A vigil is a period of watchful attention at night for a specific purpose. He had a vigil in front of the tomb for three days. Weary If someone is weary, then they are tired. Jane was weary after a long day of work. The Coward's Lesson Tom was easily frightened. He enlisted in the army because he thought the military would teach him courage. And though he needed courage, he never imagined how he would learn it. During a march across a tract of wilderness near his country's frontier, Tom strayed from his squad. He had stopped to gaze at a splendid view of a lush valley. When he turned around, his squad was gone. 
He searched for them, but because their outfits had camouflage, he couldn't find them. It was getting dark, and Tom grew weary. All he had was a knife, a boomerang, and his handbook. He made a camp for the night. It was cold, and the ground was hard. He wished he had his cot and a blanket. Instead, he made a fire, wrapped himself tightly in his jacket, and fell asleep. A loud noise roused him from his sleep. What was that, he wondered. Then he noticed it. An animal of substantial size had left a print from its paw in the dirt. He sat closer to the fire and looked into the darkness. He imagined a large beast jumping from the gloom and attacking him. He shook so much from fear that it felt like the marrow in his bones quivered. Tom contemplated many different plans. He was hesitant to act. He decided to stay by the fire. But during his vigil, he heard more noises. He couldn't contend with his fear any longer. He knew what he had to do. He made a torch and followed the prince. He heard a twig snap very close ahead, but he bravely went on. Seconds later, he discovered what had scared him. It was only a kangaroo. Tom went back to his camp and slept. In the morning, he found his squad. He had finally learned courage. He learned that he had to confront his fear in order to conquer it. Adhere To adhere means to act in the way that a rule or agreement says is right. If the new employees wish to succeed, they must adhere to the boss's rules. Administer. To administer means to take responsibility for organizing something. The teacher's assistant will administer the test. Compassionate. When people are compassionate, they feel pity and sympathy for others. The compassionate nurse tried to make the sick man feel comfortable. Contaminate. To contaminate something means to put dirty or harmful chemicals into it. The lake was contaminated when pollutants entered into the water. Deficiency A deficiency is a lack of something, especially something that is needed. Your snack has a deficiency of any real nutrients. Epidemic An epidemic is an outbreak of a disease that spreads quickly. It was difficult to stop the flu epidemic. Hazard a hazard is something that could be dangerous to a person's health or safety. Smoking cigarettes poses many health hazards. Imperative When something is imperative, it is extremely important and must be done. It was imperative for him to find a job. Intestines Intestines are tubes through which food passes after it leaves the stomach. Whatever you eat goes into your intestines. Manifest To manifest means to make something visible or obvious. The holiday season manifested joy in the children. Metabolic When something is metabolic, it relates to a person's or animal's metabolism. People who have a low metabolic rate will gain weight. Overcrowded when a place is overcrowded, it has too many people or things in it. The lobby was overcrowded with people. Paramount When something is paramount, it is more important than anything else. The safety of passengers must be paramount when designing a car. Practitioner A practitioner is a doctor. She made an appointment with a practitioner to treat her cough. Provision The provision of something is the act of giving it to people in need or want. That department is responsible for the provision of emergency supplies. Replenish To replenish something means to make it full or complete again. We planted nearly 100 seeds to replenish the garden after the fire. Sterile when something is sterile, it is completely clean and free from germs. The hospital room looked quite sterile. Upgrade To upgrade something means to improve it or make it more efficient. He upgraded to a real fancy car. 
Viable. When something is viable, it is capable of doing what it is intended to do. Her method of solving the math problem seemed viable. Voluntary. When something is voluntary, it is done by choice but is not required. Many people attended the voluntary boat safety class. Epidemic in Zimbabwe. In August of 2008, a deadly cholera epidemic manifested in Zimbabwe. A severe health hazard caused the outbreak. There was an extreme lack of clean drinking water in the overcrowded urban cities. Garbage and chemicals got into the public water supplies and contaminated them. Since people did not have access to other sources, they had to drink the dirty water. The outbreak spread rapidly and infected almost 16,000 people. The illness caused extreme pain in people's intestines. It also caused a deficiency of important fluids in sick people's bodies. Without the proper fluids and minerals, metabolic processes stopped working correctly. People were unable to digest food properly or replenish their lost nutrients. If they had not received viable treatment, they would have been likely to die. It was imperative for help to come soon. However, the government of Zimbabwe was unable to provide help to its people. The government didn't have a plan to stop the spread of cholera. In addition, the country was too poor to get clean water or medication for the sick. The people seemed to be doomed. Luckily, many other countries recognized the paramount need to contain the outbreak. Dozens of voluntary practitioners from Britain, France, the United States, and other countries went to Zimbabwe to treat the disease. Through the provision of sterile drinking water and medication, people finally got the treatment they badly needed. The compassionate doctors were able to save the lives of thousands. By January of 2009, the epidemic was almost completely contained. Today, the Zimbabwean government is working with other countries to prevent future epidemics. They are cleaning up the water supply and learning how to avoid health hazards. The system used to filter water is being upgraded. The government now administers the water supply plants and makes sure that they adhere to strict safety guidelines. Hopefully, Future instances of cholera will be treated before they start deadly epidemics. Amid. If something is amid something else, then it is in the middle of it. The bee was busily flying amid the flowers in the garden. Backstage. If something happens backstage, it occurs behind a theater stage. After the show, the director went backstage and thanked the actors. Billionaire. A billionaire is someone who has at least one billion dollars. The sale of his inventions made the inventor a billionaire. Brute. A brute is someone who behaves or looks like a violent animal. My older brother can act like a brute when he doesn't get his way. Clumsy. If someone is clumsy, then they are awkward in handling things. The businessman was clumsy and dropped his work files. Collide. To collide with something means to hit into it while moving. The two cars collided with each other because their drivers were not careful. Culprit. A culprit is someone who did a crime or other bad deed. The police were still searching for the culprit from the robbery. Evacuate. To evacuate means to leave a place of danger to a place of safety. During the flood, many families were evacuated to higher ground. Flammable. If something is flammable, then it is able to catch on fire. Be careful with that blanket near the candle. It is extremely flammable. Mob. A mob is a large crowd of people that often wants to cause violence. The copier was destroyed by a mob of angry workers. Premature. If something is premature, then it is done too early or before the proper time. Mark's celebration was premature because the ball hadn't fallen in the hole. Resent. To resent something means to have bad feelings about it. She resented the fact that she had never been able to play an instrument. Satire. A satire is a work of art that uses humor and irony to make fun of something. 
This book is a satire of what life was like in the army. Scrutiny. Scrutiny is the careful examination of something. A scientist should always practice scrutiny with their work. Segregate. To segregate something means to place it in a group apart from other things. In gym class, the children were segregated into two groups boys and girls. Subject. To subject someone to something means to force them to do or experience it. The officers subjected everyone to a careful search before they left the plane. Testify. To testify means to give evidence as a witness. The judge listened while the victim testified about the robbery. Tumult. A tumult is a loud and confused noise made by a large crowd of people. She couldn't hear her friend over the tumult of the other excited guests. Underestimate. To underestimate something or someone means to think they are not important. We lost the game because we underestimated the other team's skill. Uproar. Uproar is loud noise caused by people who are very angry or upset. The fans made a great uproar when their team lost the game. The Brute and the Billionaire. Hundreds of people had come to see a popular satire, but during the performance, a fire started in the theater. The audience and actors evacuated the building. Luckily, no one was hurt, and the fire was soon put out. Immediately, the audience assembled into an angry mob and demanded to know what had happened. It was soon revealed that the fire had started backstage, and only two people were in the area at the time. One was the husband of the play's star actress, the billionaire Henry Rich. The other was the theater's janitor, Bill, a large and strong man who looked like a brute. The crowd segregated the two men and demanded to know who the culprit was. Most of the crowd thought that Bill was to blame. They felt that he had started the fire without ever subjecting him to any scrutiny. Bill resented this but said nothing. Luckily, the billionaire's wife testified in his defense. Your decision is premature, she told the crowd. I fell down amid the tumult while everyone fled the fire. Bill rescued me and carried me out of the building. I think you underestimate his character. Besides, in order to be close enough to save me, he couldn't have been near the place where the fire began. The crowd then turned their eyes to the billionaire. He did it, they shouted. Make him pay. Wait, the billionaire said over the uproar. I admit that I started the fire, but it was an accident. I was going backstage to see my wife and was clumsy. I collided with a lamp. And it fell to the floor. The floor was flammable. A fire started, and I fled. The mob was surprised. The man they blamed was innocent, and the billionaire was guilty. To pay for his error, the billionaire not only repaired the theater, but had it remade to be better than before. Accelerate. To accelerate means to increase in speed. When he stepped on the gas pedal, the motorcycle accelerated. Anew. If you do something anew, you do it again and in a different way. Though he had failed his driving test, he decided to try it anew. Defect. A defect is a part of something that is wrong or missing. All these bottles have a defect and must be sent back to the warehouse. Dreary. If something is dreary, then it is dull, dark, and lifeless. After the fire, this section of forest is rather dreary. Duplicate. To duplicate something means to copy it. She duplicated her friend's movements like she was in front of a mirror. Electromagnetic. If something is electromagnetic, it is related to electricity and magnetic fields. Different colors of light come from different levels of electromagnetic energy. Electron. An electron is a particle in all atoms that has a negative electric charge. The number of electrons in an atom determines the substance the atoms make. Glide. 
To glide means to fly on extended wings with little or no effort. When the wind is blowing, birds can glide easily through the sky. Ingenious. If someone is ingenious, then they are very smart. Charles was the only person ingenious enough to repair the plane's engines. Innovation. An innovation is a product or idea that is new or very original. Mrs. Johnson made a great innovation to the company's business plan. Innovative. If something or someone is innovative, they can think in creative ways. Since Peter was so innovative, he was chosen to lead the science team. Launch. To launch something means to make it go into motion. The boat launched from the dock and floated down the river. Meteorological. If something is meteorological, it is concerned with the science of weather. The thunderstorm was so large that it became a great meteorological event. Meteorology. Meteorology is the science that studies the weather. In order to understand the weather, you have to study meteorology. Penetrate. To penetrate something means to enter into it. The knife easily penetrated the surface of the orange. Propulsion. Propulsion is the force that moves something forward. The propulsion lifted the rocket into the sky. Simulate. To simulate something means to copy its actions or characteristics. The French language teacher could simulate the accent of a French citizen. Spur. To spur someone means to urge them into action. The coach's speech spurred her team into playing the best game of their lives. Stimulate. To stimulate something means to cause or to increase activity in it. Doctors sometimes use electric shock to stimulate a patient's heartbeat. Tenacious. If someone is tenacious, then they do not easily give up. I'm sure that he'll finish that difficult sale. He is very tenacious. The Tenacious Inventor. A young student of meteorology was having a difficult time with an experiment. He was attempting to duplicate lightning in clouds. He had made a device that could simulate lightning. It worked by releasing an electromagnetic pulse into the cloud. This pulse, in turn, stimulated the electrons in the cloud's particles. Then the electrons produced lightning. But his meteorological experiment had a major defect. He couldn't get the device into the sky. He had tied it to balloons, but they had burst. He had shot the device from a cannon, but the force of the cannon had damaged it. You should give up, his friends told him. You'll never get that thing into the air. But his friends' criticisms only spurred him to try again. The student was very innovative, and at last, he thought that he had an innovation that would work. He attached wings to the device, and on one dreary day, when clouds blocked the light of the sun, he started his experiment anew. He placed the device on a rocket and launched it into the sky. The propulsion of the rocket carried the device high into the air. The rocket accelerated into the clouds and then released the device. It glided on its wings through the clouds, and when it penetrated the center of a large black cloud, it emitted the electromagnetic pulse. And just as he had predicted, lightning shot from the cloud. He called his professors, and the next day they came to watch. He successfully duplicated the experiment. His teachers were extremely impressed and called the student and his invention ingenious. The student was given many awards and became a famous inventor. He had not given up. He had remained tenacious and succeeded. Beforehand. If something is done beforehand, then it is done in advance. He packed his luggage beforehand so he was able to leave right away. Centigrade. If a temperature is centigrade, it is scaled so water freezes at zero degrees and boils at 100 degrees. During the springtime, the temperature gets as warm as 26 degrees centigrade. Chatter. To chatter means to talk quickly about unimportant things. The children chattered in the back of the classroom. Concerto. A concerto is music for a solo instrument and played with an orchestra.
The piano concerto has a section in which only the piano plays. Condense. To condense a gas means to make it a liquid. The cool air made tiny drops of water condense on the tops of the grass. Cove. A cove is a part of land where it curves inward around the sea. They hid the boat in a small cove on the south side of the island. Deteriorate. To deteriorate means to become steadily worse. The nation's economy continued to deteriorate despite the politicians' efforts. Exterior. An exterior is the outside surface of something. The exterior of the nut was hard and woody, but the inside was soft and delicious. Freeway. A freeway is a road with no stops where cars travel at high speeds. Once you get on the freeway, it only takes an hour to drive to my parents' farm. Hardy. If someone or something is hardy, then they are loud and happy. The grandmother ended her story with a hearty laugh that pleased her grandchild. Hospitable. If someone is hospitable, they are friendly to strangers. At dinner, Dad was very hospitable to my friends. Manor. A manor is a large house with many rooms. The manor had over 40 rooms in addition to beautiful gardens. Monastery. A monastery is a building in which monks live. The monks at this monastery are famous for their bread and music. Nursery. A nursery is a room where babies and children sleep, play, or are cared for. The children kissed their parents goodnight and went upstairs to the nursery. Outstretched. If something is outstretched, then it is extended to its full length. The cat stood on its back legs with its front legs outstretched. Parcel. A parcel is a package of things to be carried or mailed somewhere. The parcel looked like it had been stepped on by someone. Profile. A profile is an outline of a face, usually as seen from the side. The drawing of Olivia's profile came out very well. Vivacious. If someone is vivacious, they are talkative and cheerful. Everyone at the party was very vivacious and having a good time. Winding. If something is winding, then it follows a twisting course. The winding river turned and looped around the bases of the hills. Zip. To zip something means to close it with a zipper. She zipped her backpack closed after putting her books inside it. The nurse's lesson. One of the children in the nursery was sick. The child's mother, who was usually quite vivacious and chattered constantly, was quiet and worried. She knew that if she did not act quickly, the child's condition would deteriorate. She summoned the children's nurse and said to her, The monks make a medicine that can cure my child's sickness. Please, hurry tonight to the monastery and get it. The nurse immediately hurried from the manor to get the medicine. The monastery was far away by Rabbit Cove, and there was no freeway leading to it. The only way there was to walk along a dark and winding trail. The temperature was close to zero degrees centigrade, and it was raining. Luckily, the nurse had grabbed her raincoat beforehand. She zipped it up and pulled the hood over her head. I'll never make it there, she thought. Perhaps I should return and go in the morning. But she remembered the sick child and decided to continue. Finally, she arrived at the monastery. It was very late. She feared the monks would not be hospitable. But she approached the door and knocked anyway. The rain had condensed on the exterior of the windows by the door. All she could see was the profile of a large man coming to answer the door. Again, she was filled with fear. But the monk smiled at her when he opened the door. He took her outstretched hand and welcomed her with a hearty voice. The place was warm, and she heard a concerto playing in another room. She relaxed. How can I help you? the monk asked, and the nurse explained the situation. 
he instantly knew what to do. He grabbed a parcel of medicine and took her back to the manor in a carriage. The medicine worked. The nurse was happy she had persevered through the bad weather and found the monastery. Now the boy would be able to live a long natural life. Airway An airway is the passage by which air reaches a person's lungs. Since he was sick, mucus would occasionally get stuck in his airway. Almighty The Almighty is a name for a god in a religion. Before eating, they thanked the Almighty for their food. Advent An advent is the arrival or beginning of an important person, thing, or event. During the advent of radio, very few programs actually played music. Constellation A constellation is a group of stars with a recognizable shape. That constellation in the shape of a square is named after a flying horse. Definitive If something is definitive, then it is the most official. This library has the definitive collection of books on ancient Egypt. Equate To equate one thing with another is to compare them and consider them very similar. She equated the man's messy appearance with a lack of responsibility. Inhale To inhale means to take air or a smell into the lungs. The camper inhaled the cool and fresh mountain air and felt relaxed. Invoke To invoke something is to mention it to support an argument or ask for help. Before going into battle, the soldier invoked the name of his god for protection. Lunar If something is lunar, then it is related to the moon. During a lunar eclipse, Earth's shadow darkens the moon's surface. Novelty A novelty is something that is new, original, or strange. Ice cream was a novelty for him since he rarely had any. Outmoded If something is outmoded, then it is no longer in fashion or use. Black and white television sets are outmoded. Personalize To personalize something means to design it to meet a person's unique needs. He personalized the woman's exercises to give her a better workout. Pertain To pertain to something means to be related or connected to it. All of the lawyer's questions pertain to events around the night of the crime. Primal If something is primal, then it is very basic or related to the origin of something. Cooking the food over the campfire felt like a primal way of making a meal. Psychiatric If something is psychiatric, then it is related to mental illness or its treatment. The doctor said the patient might have a psychiatric problem. Psychiatry Psychiatry is the study and treatment of mental illness. Studying psychiatry has taught me a lot about mental illness. Reflex A reflex is an unconscious action in which a body part responds to an event. There was a reflex when the doctor hit his knee with a rubber hammer. Seizure A seizure is sudden illness in which the body loses control and shakes. Bright flashing lights can cause seizures in children. Session A session is a meeting at a regular time in order to discuss and solve an issue. Every three months, the managers met in a session to discuss regional sales. Utensil A utensil is a common tool or container. It seemed that a fork was the wrong utensil for trying to eat the soup. Seizures then and now If a person who lived 200 years ago was treated for a seizure today, they would be surprised by the treatment's novelty. That's because doctors in the 1800s were influenced more by primal medical beliefs than science. Rather than thinking the brain caused seizures, people in the 1800s still thought they were the result of strange forces. They equated seizures with the work of evil spirits. Others felt that the seizures had a cosmic or lunar cause, 
They believed that the cycles of the moon and constellations could make someone have a seizure. During a session to treat a patient who had seizures, doctors would force the patient to invoke the grace of the Almighty. They thought if the patient did this, then the patient would rid themselves of the evil spirits causing the seizures. The advent of modern psychiatry occurred during the 1800s. At that time, people who suffered from seizures were placed in psychiatric hospitals. They were treated like they were insane. However, none of the outmoded treatments worked. It wasn't until the late 1850s that the causes of seizures were understood. We know today that these causes pertain to the brain. Misfired signals from the brain cause a jerking reflex in the body. These usually occur when someone is very tired. Once the causes of seizures were known, definitive treatments were developed. Today, treatments range from taking pills to having surgery. Treatment is personalized according to the type of seizure the patient has. Even today, some people are unsure about seizures. Their most common mistake is thinking that a person having a seizure will swallow their tongue. They often shove some utensil in the person's mouth. However, this doesn't help. The utensil often blocks the airway and prevents the person from inhaling. Yet most of the public no longer fear people who have seizures. Instead, they can now help and comfort a person if they have a seizure. Adhesive An adhesive is a substance used for sticking things together. The carpenter used an adhesive to hold the two pieces of wood together. Adverse If something is adverse, then it is harmful. Not eating healthy foods can have an adverse effect on your health. Dependency A dependency is a strong need for someone or something. The child still has a dependency on her mother. Dump To dump something means to throw it away or get rid of it. She dumped the garbage into the trash can. Eternal If something is eternal, then it lasts forever. She said that her love for him was eternal. Fluctuate To fluctuate means to rise and fall in number or amount. Prices for gasoline have been fluctuating all month. Fro If something moves to and fro, it moves backward and forward or side to side. Her long hair went to and fro as she swung on the swing. Inclusion Inclusion is the act of including someone or something in a group. Her inclusion into the photo club was well received. Intermediate. If something is intermediate, then it is in the middle of two levels, places, or times. He selected the intermediate ski hill to begin his afternoon of skiing. Intermittent. If something is intermittent, then it happens in a way that is not constant. It was hard to focus because intermittent noises came from the workers outside. Mentor. A mentor is a person with experience or knowledge who advises someone. The students each chose a mentor to help them with the experiment. Phoenix. A phoenix is an imaginary bird that burns to ashes and is reborn. Some believe the phoenix is a symbol for a rebirth and a new beginning. Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process in which plants change sunlight and air. The chemical in plants that makes them green is used in photosynthesis. Pollen. Pollen is the tiny yellow powder made in the flowers of plants. During the spring, the pollen in the air makes some people become sick. Regain. To regain something means to get it back. The battery regained its power after being recharged. Reverse. To reverse means to change to the opposite direction. They reverse their direction after seeing the sign. Swarm. A swarm is a group of flying insects. A beautiful swarm of butterflies filled the summer sky. Texture. Texture is the quality of something that can be known by its touch. The texture of her skin was very soft and smooth. Tickle. 
To tickle someone is to touch them in a way that causes laughter. The mother tickled the little boy's foot and he screamed with laughter. Vibrant. If something is vibrant, then it is bright and full of color. Their new shirts were a vibrant shade of red. The greedy bee. A young bee had passed his intermediate level exams. He now knew everything about flowers. He understood how they used photosynthesis to make oxygen and which ones produced the best pollen. Bees had an important dependency on pollen. From the beginning of time, Bee's eternal task was to gather pollen and make honey with it. Since he passed his exams, the little bee had earned his inclusion in the swarms that gathered pollen. He was excited because he was finally allowed to leave the hive. He left with the next swarm and was determined to find the perfect flower. Soon he saw a large, vibrant flower full of pollen. He landed on a petal and walked toward the pollen at the flower center. Immediately he began rolling in the pollen. Gathering it on his legs and wings. The fine texture of the pollen tickled when it stuck to his body. It was the best experience the little bee had ever had. He gathered as much as he could. But when he was flying back home, he realized that all the pollen had an adverse effect. He had no control over his flight. The intermittent wind fluctuated in power. He was blown to and fro. One minute he was flying straight. And the next minute, the wind had reversed his course. He tried to dump some of the pollen, but it acted as an adhesive. He couldn't get it off. He became tired and fell to the ground. What am I going to do now? he thought. Just then, his mentor landed next to him and began cleaning the excess pollen off the little bee. You shouldn't have taken so much, his mentor said. Finally, with the pollen off of him, the bee easily regained his strength. And like a phoenix, the young bee flew back into the air. When he returned to the hive, he turned to his mentor and said, I learned an important lesson today. I will never be greedy again. Abolish. To abolish something means to put an end to it, such as a system or law. President Lincoln abolished slavery in the U.S. Amend. To amend something means to change it to improve or make it accurate. The countries were in agreement that the treaty needed to be amended. Aspire. To aspire means to have a strong desire to achieve or do something. George aspired to be a doctor from a young age. Censor. To censor information means to remove it if it is rude or rebellious. To protect innocent people, the location of the bomb was censored. Charter. A charter is a document that describes the rights of an organization or group. The company charter explained that all employees had to pay a tax. Constitution. A constitution is a document of principles for a government. The country's constitution said a prime minister could only serve three terms. Cosmopolitan. When a place is cosmopolitan, it is full of people from many different places. There are dozens of different types of restaurants in a cosmopolitan city. Disseminate. To disseminate information or knowledge means to distribute it. The organization disseminates information about the dangers of smoking. Flatter. To flatter people means to praise them in an effort to please them. He was just flattering me when he said that my new dress looked gorgeous. Infamous. When someone is infamous, they are well known for something bad. That news channel is infamous for presenting biased information. Lame. If one is lame, they cannot walk properly due to an injury to the leg or foot. The terrible accident left many people dead and several others lame. Limp. To limp means to walk with difficulty because someone's leg or foot is hurt. After the injury, the player limped off of the field. Outburst. An outburst is a sudden, strong expression of an emotion. There was an outburst of cheers when the comedian took the stage.
Pathological. When a behavior is pathological, it is extreme, unacceptable, and uncontrollable. The pathological liar could not even tell the truth about unimportant matters. Phenomenal. When something is phenomenal, it is unusually great. The child's ability to play the piano is nothing short of phenomenal. Poll. A poll is a survey in which people give their opinions about important things. The poll showed that many people support the plan to stop gang violence. Remorse. Remorse is a strong feeling of sadness and regret. When I realized what I did, I felt remorse for my actions. Secrecy. Secrecy is the behavior of keeping things secret. The secrecy of the big organization made the government nervous. Tackle. To tackle something means to deal with it in a determined and efficient way. Such social problems need to be tackled right away. Trance. A trance is a state where people seem asleep and have no control of themselves. The woman's powerful eyes often put me in a trance. The mayor of Sherman. The cosmopolitan city of Sherman needed to elect a new mayor. Two men aspired to become mayor. Mr. Jones and Mr. Webb. Mr. Jones was a tall, handsome man. He was a phenomenal speaker and the citizens loved him. However, Mr. Jones didn't know much about running a city. He was a pathological liar who merely flattered people with his words. Mr. Webb was very different. He was a small, unattractive man. He was lame and limped when he walked. But he was an expert on politics and knew what was best for the people. The citizens of Sherman didn't care about what the politicians had to say. No one listened to Mr. Webb, even though he had great ideas. They cheered when Mr. Jones spoke, although he didn't talk about important things. His pretty words put people in a trance. All the polls predicted that Mr. Jones would win the election. When the votes were totaled, Mr. Jones won easily. But when he took office, he didn't know what to do. He tried to hide his ignorance by working in secrecy. He added a law to the city's constitution that prevented citizens from seeing the mayor. He even censored newspapers that tried to disseminate information about his inability to help the people. Soon, however, Mr. Jones became infamous for his poor leadership. There was an outburst of anger among the citizens. They were full of remorse for their misguided decision to elect an ignorant mayor. They voted to remove Mr. Jones and let Mr. Webb take over. Immediately, Mr. Webb proved that he was a great mayor. He abolished Mr. Jones's law and he was willing to talk openly with everyone. He tackled important issues and amended unfair laws in the city's charter. The citizens learned that a pleasant appearance and nice words do not make a good leader. The most important qualities are intelligence and a desire to help others. Coward A coward is a person who lacks courage to do risky or dangerous things. A firefighter cannot be a coward. They have to be able to act quickly. Delete. To delete something means to remove or erase written material. Several lines had been deleted from her speech. First hand. If something is first hand, then it is from an original source. If you want first hand knowledge, ask someone who saw it. Ernest. If someone is earnest, then they are honest. The child was very earnest when she told her mother how she broke the dish. Ethnic. If something is ethnic, then it is related to a group with a similar culture. Many sections of the city are home to different ethnic communities. Exclude. To exclude someone means to not accept them into a group. Carol was excluded from the contest because her friend was a judge. Fluent. If someone is fluent in a language, then they are able to speak it very well. She was so fluent in German that you'd have thought she was from Germany. Imperial. If something is imperial, then it is of or related to an empire. These old imperial coins were once used in the Roman Empire.
Inclusive. If something is inclusive, then it is open to all groups and people in society. A more inclusive event would have allowed children to attend. Legislature. A legislature is the section of a government that makes laws. The senator had served 10 years in the national legislature. Linguistic. If something is linguistic, then it is concerned with language. A linguistic way of studying culture focuses on words within that culture. Monolingual. If someone is monolingual, then they speak only one language. In today's global economy, being monolingual limits your opportunities. Nationality. Nationality is an identity based on the nation from which you come. His nationality is German, but he speaks French, Spanish, and Korean. Patriot. A patriot is someone who loves, supports, and defends their country. Every year, young patriots join their country's militaries. Prosecute. To prosecute someone means to take legal action against them. They were prosecuted for fishing in the river without a permit. Racial. If something is racial, then it is related to race or races. The differences between racial groups are physical characteristics and culture. Solemn. If something is solemn, then it is serious and honest. The professor preferred a solemn relationship between him and his students. Solidarity. Solidarity is a union formed from common responsibilities or interests. All the citizens came together in a show of solidarity to create change. Tact. Tact is the ability to avoid offending people when dealing with problems. Since both sides would not agree, it required someone with tact to make peace. Undermine. To undermine someone means to betray or weaken their efforts or authority. The documents help to undermine the workers' trust in their boss's honesty. The Editor's Choice A newspaper editor sat at his desk and stared at the flashing cursor on his computer screen. He didn't know if he should delete the article he had just written or go ahead and publish it. He was scared and filled with doubt. The Empire had passed a new law stating that citizens could only use the imperial language. The editor disagreed with the law and decided to write an article about why it was wrong. He felt that the new law excluded people of different nationalities and racial and ethnic backgrounds. He had first hand knowledge of what it feels like not to be fluent in the imperial language because he was from a remote part of the Empire. He felt that the Empire shouldn't be monolingual and should be more inclusive. Yet, he was afraid that he would get in trouble for having this belief. Many would say that he was not a patriot, that he didn't love the empire. But he didn't wish to undermine the authority of the empire. He wanted to argue that the empire could be stronger if it accepted people of various cultures and beliefs. At last, he decided to stop being a coward and to be earnest about how he felt. He wrote the article. It wasn't rude or angry, but rather very solemn and intelligent. The next day it was published in all the papers. Everyone was impressed by his tact and showed solidarity with his ideas. He expected to be arrested any day, but the police never came. Surprisingly, instead of being prosecuted, he became a hero. The legislature changed the law, and people from many linguistic backgrounds praised him. Never be afraid to be vocal, the editor later wrote. If you think something is wrong, then stand up for what you believe. Allocate. To allocate something means to put it aside for a certain purpose or person. The government allocated $100 million to aid the disaster relief effort. Appetizing. When food is appetizing, it looks and smells very good. The appetizing plate of cookies was gone in half an hour. Blizzard. A blizzard is a severe snowstorm with strong winds. We did not dare to go outside during the terrible blizzard. Cavity. A cavity is a hole or space in something. 
There was a small cavity in the wall of the cave where an animal lived. Clockwise. If something moves clockwise, it moves in a circle in the same direction as a clock. Turn the screw clockwise to tighten it. Concentric. When circles or rings are concentric, they have the same center. The target was a series of concentric circles. Courtesy. Courtesy is the excellence of manners or social conduct. Jenna always behaves with great courtesy when people visit her home. Crisp. When food is crisp, it is hard or has a hard surface in a way that is pleasant. My favorite snack is a bag of crisp, delicious potato chips. Discord. Discord is disagreement or fighting between people. There was much discord between the experts on the talk show. Frigid. When something is frigid, it is extremely cold. We decided not to go on the hike because the weather was too frigid. Generate. To generate something means to cause it to develop or begin. The mayor promised to generate new jobs and programs to help the poor. Glacial. When something is glacial, it relates to large masses of ice that move slowly. Penguins thrive in the glacial regions of Antarctica. Interchange. An interchange of ideas between people is a discussion of each person's idea. There was an interchange of ideas between the groups. Locker. A locker is a small cabinet with a lock where people store their possessions. I keep my school books in my locker. Multicultural. When something is multicultural, it relates to many different cultures. Everyone was welcome to attend the multicultural celebration. Omission. An omission is something that has been left out or not done. Mike was upset because of the omission of his name during the ceremony. Oversee. To oversee something means to make sure that it is being done properly. His job was to oversee the progress of the construction project. Pierce. To pierce something means to make a hole in it using a sharp object. The arrow pierced the target in the very center. Replicate. To replicate something is to do it in the exact same way as someone before. I would love to replicate my father's achievements in school. Wavy. When something is wavy, it is not straight but has a series of curves. The child drew wavy lines all over the piece of paper. The Ice House. Last year, Eric constructed one of the world's strangest houses in the glacial landscape of northern Sweden. He called it the Ice House, a house made entirely of ice and snow. All of the beds, chairs, tables, and walls are cold, hard sculptures of ice. A group of architects and volunteers from all over the world traveled to the site of the Ice House and began its construction. The multicultural group journeyed through blizzards and frigid temperatures to reach the site. Once the builders arrived, there was an interchange of ideas and tools were allocated to each worker. An expert was selected to oversee the building process to make sure there was no discord between the workers. Once a plan was generated, they got right to work. The design was very unique. The builders couldn't replicate the design from normal houses. The first step was to build the walls and ceiling. The builders used a metal frame to help them build the structure. After the ice was in place, the frame was removed. The builders then created furniture and art pieces. Designs were carved into each piece. One worker carved big wavy lines, and another made tiny clockwise concentric circles. Finally, the workers carved small cavities in the roof and inserted colored lights. When the work was finished, the beautiful house was ready for a resident to enjoy. Living in the ice house is an experience like no other. Eric stores his belongings in an ice locker and lays out a sleeping bag on his ice bed. At dinner, he dines on a delicious salad with crisp toppings. 
and for the main course, he enjoys appetizing fish caught from a nearby river. The fish are pierced with icicles and served on ice plates. After dinner, he gets ready for a cold night. The omission of heaters can be too much for his visitors sometimes. Luckily, there are warm rooms nearby, as a courtesy to people who get too cold. Abide. To abide by something, like a rule, means to obey it. If you want to play the game with us, you must be willing to abide by our rules. Conversion. Conversion is the act of changing something into a different state or form. The city discussed the conversion of the parking lot into a skateboard park. Cram. To cram things means to put them into a place that can barely contain them. He crammed all of his shirts into the top drawer of the dresser. Defer. To defer means to arrange for an action to happen at a later time. The girl was very sleepy, so she chose to defer her bath until morning. Export. To export products means to sell them to other countries. The United States exports many cereals and grains. Fume. Fumes are unhealthy smoke and gases that are made by fires or chemicals. The engine put unpleasant black fumes into the air. Habitual. If something is habitual, it is a behavior that a person usually does or has. The man was a habitual liar who was incapable of being honest with the police. Justify. To justify something means to show or prove that it is necessary. The government tried to justify its decision to bring the country into a war. Output. Output is the amount of something that a person or thing produces. The boss hired more workers to increase the factory's output of products. Overpopulation. Overpopulation is the state of having too many people in an area. The organization is concerned with overpopulation of the world. Patent. A patent is a right to be the only person allowed to make or sell a new product. He quickly established a patent for his brilliant invention. Penalize. To penalize someone means to punish him or her. The team was penalized when they broke the rules. Petroleum. Petroleum is a liquid natural resource from which many fuels are made. The petroleum at that factory is used to make gasoline. Prototype. A prototype is a new machine that is not ready to be made in large quantities. He introduced his prototype to the motorcycle company. Scrap. A scrap of something is a small amount of it. Chris liked to use many scraps of paper when thinking up ideas. Sector. A sector is a part of a country's economy in a specific type of industry. We learned about just a few of the factories within the manufacturing sector. Subscribe. To subscribe to something is to agree or to concur with it. She subscribed to the view that musical education should be kept in schools. Subsist. To subsist means to have the food, water, and money needed to stay alive. Some people are forced to subsist on only a few dollars a month. Suspend. To suspend something means to delay or stop it from happening for a while. The oil company suspended production until it was sure the factory was safe. Synthesis. A synthesis is a combination of different ideas or styles. The band's music was a synthesis of many different musical genres. Preparing of the future. Overpopulation is a big problem in the world today. Too many people are crammed into cities and towns around the globe. Earth's population is about 6.5 billion people. This number is growing every day. In just 50 years, the population will be almost 9 billion.
Many people worry that the Earth won't have enough resources to support so many people. One major reason for this is that wasting resources and polluting have become habitual behaviors. Industrial output results in polluting the air with dangerous fumes. Also, cars and machines waste a ton of important natural resources like oil and water. It's possible that the Earth may become so damaged that it cannot support a large population of humans. Another issue is the lack of useful land for cultivating crops. Even today, many people subsist on mere scraps of food and little water. In 50 years, many experts worry that huge numbers of people will starve to death. So, what is being done to prepare for the future? People are realizing they can no longer justify their wasteful behavior or defer action to fix it. Many car companies already have patents on prototypes for very efficient cars. Such cars waste no resources and produce no pollution. A conversion to clean cars means that petroleum can be saved for the future. In addition, the environmental sectors of many governments are setting strict rules for industries that pollute too much. If companies do not abide by the standards, they are penalized with higher taxes. In some cases, their operations might be suspended altogether. Food is also an issue that is being tackled. Many countries are now subscribing to the point of view that immediate action is needed. They are determining ways to export goods to people in need so that no one goes hungry. Experts will continue to come up with ideas for the future, and a synthesis of these ideas will help to support the growing population. Acrobat An acrobat is a person who entertains people by doing amazing physical things. There were acrobats at the circus that did impressive and complicated jumps. Advocacy. Advocacy is the act of supporting or recommending something. Janine's strong advocacy for the event made people want to attend. Communal. If something is communal, it involves a group of people. On the weekends, Theo and his son picked up trash in the communal park. Fluid. If something is fluid, it is smooth and moves gracefully. Boris was a famous ballet dancer because people admired his fluid movements. Harmonize. To harmonize means to make different things go well together. The sweet and sour flavors of the dish harmonized well and tasted great. Industrious. If someone is industrious, they work hard. Dennis was very industrious, so he never had problems finding a job. Inventive. When someone is inventive, they are good at creating new things. The inventive student built a robot to help her with her chores. Judicial. If something is judicial, it is related to judges or courts of law. The laws changed the way the judicial system was structured. Mandarin. Mandarin is one of the two main Chinese languages. Although John's parents both spoke Mandarin, he could only speak English. Metropolitan. If something is metropolitan, it relates to a large city. All of the metropolitan excitement of New York City made Rufus nervous. Mimic. To mimic something means to copy the way it sounds or moves. The hunter mimicked a duck's call and shot the two ducks that called back. Misguided. When something is misguided, it is based on bad judgment or wrong beliefs. The snake bit Molly during her misguided attempt to grab it. Rehearse. To rehearse means to practice and prepare for a performance in front of people. Vic's band rehearsed all week before their first show. Scorn. To scorn someone means to behave without respect toward them. The criminal was scorned by everyone in the community. Sensory. If something is sensory, it is related to the senses. Iris and Eric preferred the sensory thrill of watching movies in the theater. Staple. If something is staple, it is standard or basic. Hamburgers, steaks, and hot dogs are staple foods to cook on a grill. 
statute. A statute is a law that is official and has been written down. The new statute made it illegal to walk dogs in the park. Veteran. A veteran is someone who has a lot of experience doing something. Hank was the team veteran and had played in more games than anyone else. Villain. A villain is an evil person who breaks the law or hurts others. The villain escaped with half of my family's valuables. Vine. A vine is a plant that has long twisting stems and climbs upward. The branches of the trees were covered with vines. Hundred Plays. Over 2,000 years ago, Chinese farmers had a problem. Even though they were very industrious, the weather became too cold outside to plant their staple food, rice. So, what did they do? Since they had so much free time during the long cold winters, the inventive farmers started performing tricks to entertain themselves. They used their farm tools and anything they could find to make their tricks more spectacular. They even twisted their bodies into crazy shapes and performed awesome jumps. Over time, they became great acrobats, and their art form came to be known as hundred plays. Hundred plays involves doing many kinds of tricks. For example, in Mandarin speaking parts of China, performers do the lion dance. They wear costumes and mimic the animal's movements. Early performers also did tricks on ropes and vines that were high above the ground. Even though the acrobats' fluid movements may have looked easy, they took a lot of work. Learning hundred plays is a communal event. A veteran of the acrobatic arts usually teaches younger people in the village. They spend a lot of time rehearsing. The young performers also learn an old philosophy. The teachings help them harmonize the sensory aspects of acrobatics with mental aspects. In other words, it teaches them to use their physical and mental strength together. Since the art has its origins with poor farmers, rich people used to scorn acrobats. They thought acrobats were villains. The rich people thought the acrobats just wanted to trick them. But later, their misguided opinions changed. Acrobats came to be respected in Chinese society. They were invited to perform in metropolitan areas as well as in small villages. They performed for important people, including judicial officers. Arts advocacy groups convinced the government to support Chinese acrobatics. As a result, there is now a statute that made several villages the center of training future acrobats. Constrain. To constrain something means to limit its development. Jim cannot join us because he is constrained by previous plans. Depot. A depot is a bus or train station. He waited for his mother to arrive at the depot. Emulate. To emulate people means to imitate them because they are greatly admired. As a small boy, he always tried to emulate his big brother. Forefinger. The forefinger is the finger between one's thumb and middle finger. He shouted, "There it is!" and pointed with his forefinger. Guts. The guts are all the organs inside a person or animal. The doctor can tell you every process that happens in one's guts. Inherent. When something is inherent, it is a natural part of something else. Sweating is an inherent bodily function when exercising. Intimidate. To intimidate means to frighten others. My dad intimidates my friends whenever they visit. Janitor. A janitor is a person who makes repairs and takes care of a building. The school janitor cleaned up the messy cafeteria. Moist. When something is moist, it is slightly wet. The ground is still moist from the rain last night. Nope. Nope is an informal way of saying no. He asked if I had any money, and I had to say nope. Prod. To prod means to push someone or something with a finger or pointed object. The bully prodded me in the chest with his finger. Ransom. A ransom is a sum of money paid to a kidnapper to set the person free. 
He kidnapped the prince and demanded $1 million as ransom. Restrain. To restrain someone or something means to use physical strength to stop them. Mike restrained Alan from reaching the door. Saliva. Saliva is the watery liquid in people's mouths that helps in digestion. The baby could not keep the saliva from dripping out of its mouth. Spit. To spit means to force liquid from one's mouth. He emerged from the pool and spit water from his mouth. Sprint. To sprint means to run very fast over a short distance. The kids didn't want to be late to class, so they sprinted to the bus stop. Stunt. A stunt is something that is done in order to get attention or publicity. The man jumped over the cars as a promotional stunt. Tolerant. When people are tolerant, they are approved of because they accept others. The tolerant leader thought that everyone was equal, regardless of race. Vampire. A vampire is a fictional monster that sleeps in a coffin and sucks people's blood. The vampire snuck up on the woman and bit her in the neck. Yawn. To yawn means to open one's mouth wide and breathe in air. The child yawned and stretched her arms before bed for the night. The Kidnapping. Anne was a very quiet girl who had an inherent fear of almost everything. The kids at school would play tricks on her all the time. They would hide behind the door of the school janitor's closet, then jump out to scare her. Once, a boy dressed up like a vampire and chased her down the street. Anne hated being constrained by her fears, but she didn't know how to be brave. She was walking home from school one day when someone came up behind her. Before she could turn around, a powerful man grabbed her. She couldn't scream because a huge hand was put over her mouth. Anne knew that this could not be another stunt by her classmates. The scary man restrained her arms and legs and carried her to his house. He tied Anne to a chair. Her guts began to hurt because she was so scared. The man prodded Anne with his forefinger and said, You'll stay right here until I get a ransom from your parents. Then I'll be rich. The dirty man spit when he talked. A string of saliva hung from his moist lips. Anne was terrified and intimidated by the horrible man, but she knew she had to escape somehow. Eventually, the man yawned. Anne waited quietly until he fell asleep. As he slept, she carefully wiggled her arms and legs until the ropes became loose. She slipped out of the ropes and carefully opened the door. She sprinted to the bus depot and boarded a bus to the police station. She told the police what happened, and they arrested the kidnapper. The kids at school were amazed. They asked her, Weren't you too scared to escape? She said, Nope. I knew that I had to be brave and get out of there. The kids were very tolerant of Anne from then on. They even decided that they would emulate her bravery if they ever got into a tough situation. Analogy An analogy is a connection made between things to show that they are similar. The doctor made an analogy between the human heart and a water pump. Ancestry A person's ancestry is the series of people from whom a person descended. We studied our ancestry and found out that we are related to royalty. Archer An archer is a person who uses a bow and arrows. The expert archer hit the target every time. Conspiracy A conspiracy is a secret plan made by a group of people to do something illegal. Some people think that there was a conspiracy to kill American President John Kennedy. Deputy A deputy is the second highest ranking person in a business or government. While the sheriff was ill, the deputy took over his duties. Earl An earl is a nobleman from Britain. The Earl of Canterbury lived in a huge mansion. Fragrant When something is fragrant, it has a pleasant smell. The girl picked delicious berries and fragrant flowers. Funnel 
A funnel is an object with a wide top and a narrow bottom for pouring liquids. The worker used a funnel when he poured the oil into the engine. Hereditary. If something is hereditary, it is a trait passed on to children from their parents. The hereditary disease affected three generations of children. Hymn. A hymn is a religious song that often praises a god. The book was filled with hymns that the worshipper sang. Invert. To invert something means to turn it upside down. He inverted the bicycle to make repairs on the wheels. Prey. Prey is the animals that are hunted and eaten by another creature. The lion ran as fast as he could to catch his prey. Procession. A procession is a group of people who walk or drive in a line during a public event. The procession all celebrated when they reached the end. Prophet. A prophet is a person chosen by a god to give the god's message to people. Harold believed that he was one of the prophets of his god. Sarcastic. When something is sarcastic, it is the opposite of what is actually meant. She hurt her mother's feelings with her constant sarcastic remarks. Seasoning. Seasoning is a mix of salt, herbs, and spices that improves the taste of food. This steak tastes bland. Maybe I'll add some seasoning to it. Sodium. Sodium is an element that can be used to make substances such as salt. Sodium and chloride combine to make table salt. Tyranny. A tyranny is a cruel and unfair government in which one person has power. His tyranny was impossible to live under. Tyrant. A tyrant is someone who treats people in a cruel, harsh, and unfair way. Our boss is a tyrant. He makes us work long hours for little pay. Vinegar. Vinegar is a strong liquid made from sour wine that is used in cooking. Be careful because too much vinegar will ruin the recipe. The Earl of Shining. In the village of Hampton, there was an old soldier named Michael, but he was known to the world as the Earl of Shining. Michael was once an expert archer and a great fighter. In fact, his skills seemed to be hereditary. All the people in his ancestry were famous warriors. However, he was getting old and no longer wished to fight. One day, he was in the forest hunting prey when he saw a beautiful prophet singing a hymn. She said, Michael, an evil army is involved in a conspiracy to take over Hampton. You're the only one who can defeat them and stop the tyranny. The village needs you. Michael replied, But I'm too old to fight. I'm not confident that I can do it. The prophet said, You must try. I will even make a potion to increase your strength. The prophet took out a bottle and a funnel. She poured some vinegar and garlic into the bottle. Next, she added some seasoning and sodium and shook it up. Michael smelled the potion. Wow, this is fragrant, he said in a sarcastic tone. He inverted the bottle and drank the whole potion. He immediately felt stronger. I'll try my best, he promised. Michael rode his horse to a hilltop where he could see the village of Hampton below. He saw the evil tyrant and his men marching in a procession through the town. Michael charged down the hill and into the village. An enemy deputy officer shouted, He looks as strong as an ox. It was an apt analogy. Michael grabbed the officer and threw him across the street with one arm. The rest of the officers screamed and rode away, and their army followed. The prophet reappeared. Michael said, It's a good thing you gave me the potion. She replied, But Michael, the potion was fake. Your strength really came from having confidence. Michael realized he really was still great. He just needed to believe in himself. Adjoining. If something is adjoining, it is next to or joined with a building or room. I couldn't sleep because the people in the adjoining room were loud. Allege. To allege something is to say that it is true without offering proof. 
The little girl had alleged that her older brother hid her favorite doll. Arch. An arch is a curved opening formed under a structure such as a bridge or doorway. The arch of the bridge was not high enough for the tall boat to pass underneath. Assemble. To assemble means to get together in one place. The parents assembled to discuss ways to improve their children's education. Casualty. A casualty is a person killed or injured in a war or an accident. The only casualty in the car accident was a woman who broke her arm. Erect. To erect something means to build it. The king erected two towers on the north and south sides of his castle. Foul. If something is foul, then it is not pleasant or enjoyable. He wouldn't let his dog drink from the water because it had a foul smell. Hectare. A hectare is a unit of measure equal to 10,000 square meters. His family farm covered many hectares. Heighten. To heighten an emotion means to increase the intensity of it. The pleasant music heightened their enjoyment of the wonderful dinner. Hospitality. Hospitality is friendly behavior and entertainment given to guests or strangers. The travelers were amazed at the hospitality given them by the hotel staff. Mansion. A mansion is a large and expensive home. The mansion had 30 bedrooms, two kitchens, and a pool. Outnumber. To outnumber a group means to have a greater number than it. The girls outnumbered the boys at the school by four to one. Overjoyed. If someone is overjoyed, then they are extremely happy. He was overjoyed by the news of his promotion. Pasture. A pasture is an area of land covered with grass for animals to use as food. The sheep were taken to a pasture where there was more grass. Petition. A petition is a written request asking an authority to do something. The citizens all signed a petition asking the mayor to repair the sidewalks. Renovate. To renovate a building means to repair it or build new structures on it. The old fire station was renovated into an apartment building. Revise. To revise something means to change or update it to make it better. When the editor discovered certain facts were wrong, he revised the book. Slab. A slab is a large, thick, flat piece of stone, concrete, metal, or wood. I looked at various slabs of stone to decorate my house. Terrace. A terrace is an open area that is connected to a house or an apartment. In the afternoons, she liked to sit on the terrace and check her email. Turf. Turf is a section of grass and the dirt in which it grows. After the game, the turf looked ragged. The Lord and the Farmers. A wealthy lord was renovating his mansion. He had added another story to his home with large windows that overlooked the farmer's pastures on the eastern border of his land. Around the mansion, he then erected a great wall. He built an arch for the gate out of huge slabs of stone. The lord was overjoyed with the addition to his home. However, one day while he was sitting on the terrace, some farmers knocked at his door. He invited them in. Despite his hospitality, the farmers appeared to be in a foul mood. Why are you so upset? the Lord asked. One farmer replied, That is actually the reason for our visit. He then handed the Lord a petition. It alleged that the shadow cast by the mansion was harming their pastures. Your mansion now casts a shadow over several hectares of our land. The farmer explained. The turf in the shadow has died, and our cattle now have less grass to eat. It is too late for me to revise my plans, the Lord answered. You will just have to live with a change. His reply only heightened the farmer's anger. They left, 
but they assembled that night outside the mansion's gate. They planned to destroy the mansion. The Lord's servants tried to defend the house, but the farmers outnumbered them. The servants fled, and the farmers rushed into the mansion and set it on fire. Everyone got out of the house, and there were no casualties. However, the fire soon spread from the house to the adjoining pastures that belonged to the farmers. Both sides' properties were destroyed. The Lord and the farmers were sorry for their actions. The Lord promised to pay for the burned pastures, and the farmers promised to rebuild the mansion. They had learned that when you fight, both sides lose. Analogous If something is analogous to another thing, then it is like it in certain ways. The relationship with his teacher was analogous to that of a son and mother. Binoculars Binoculars are a device used for seeing things that are far away. He could see the ship on the horizon only if he used his binoculars. Bulk The bulk of something is its great size. The large elephant moved its bulk with legs as strong as tree trunks. Comprise If something comprises something else, it consists of or is made up of it. Our school's football team is mostly comprised with seniors. Depict To depict something means to show or portray it, often using art. The statue's face depicted the general's determination and courage. Dual If something is dual, then it is made up of two parts. The room had a dual function. It was a living room, but at night it was a bedroom. Fahrenheit Fahrenheit temperature is a scale where water freezes at 32 degrees and boils at 212 degrees. When the temperature dropped at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, it started snowing. Fulfill To fulfill something means to achieve or finish it. The professor did not fulfill his promise not to miss a single class. Grove A grove is a small group of trees. All the trees in this grove are apple trees. Or Or is the raw form of rock or material from which a valuable metal is taken. The factory melted the ore and used it to make iron products. Outback The outback is the wild inland region of Australia where very few people live. Many Australian farmers use the outback to raise cattle. Outweigh To outweigh something means to exceed it in value, amount, or importance. Finding a warm place to sleep outweighed the need to find something to eat. Paradox A paradox is a true statement or real event that seems illogical. The paradox of her work was that the less she worked, the more she got done. Pier A pier is a structure that extends into a body of water. If you want to catch bigger fish, then go to the far end of the pier. Shortcut A shortcut is a route that is shorter than the main route. We got to the house first because we took a shortcut through the forest. Tariff A tariff is a tax or fee paid on certain imports or exports. Our tariff on imported wool makes foreign wool more expensive. Thermometer A thermometer is a device that measures temperature. The thermometer outside the window indicated that it was a hot day today. Tilt To tilt something means to tip it into a sloping position. She tilted her glass and almost spilled some of the wine inside. Vice versa. If a statement is vice versa, then its two main ideas are switched with one another. Students learn from their teachers and vice versa. Whereabouts. The whereabouts of someone or something is the place where they are. The police looked for the lost dog, but its whereabouts were still unknown. The shortcut. A truck driver was driving cargo from the outback to the coast.
His load was comprised of many types of ore. He needed a huge truck to carry its bulk to a ship waiting at a pier on the country's eastern coast. At the border between two counties, he'd have to pay a tariff on the cargo. However, he could keep his money if he avoided the station at the border. He worried about getting in trouble for not paying the tariff, but the thought of extra money outweighed this concern. He took out his road map. To his surprise, it depicted a small road that had a dual advantage. It not only avoided the border station but also was a shorter route to the coast. He decided to take the shortcut. However, along his journey, he soon ran into problems. First, he had to cross a small wooden bridge. His truck weighed too much for the bridge. It was analogous to an elephant trying to stand on a tree branch. The bridge started to break as the truck crossed, and the trailer tilted to the right. Fortunately, the truck made it safely across, but most of the ore fell into the river below. Next, it was a very hot day. The thermometer read over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The truck's engine became too hot, so the driver parked it in the shade of a grove of trees until it cooled down. Later, he took a wrong turn. He stopped and took out his binoculars. He scanned his surroundings and eventually discovered a landmark that led him back to the proper route. Finally, he arrived at the pier, but the ship wasn't there. When he asked about the ship's whereabouts, a man said that it had left 30 minutes ago. He had not fulfilled his duty. He realized then the paradox of the shortcut. The shortest route can be the longest, and vice versa, a long route may be the fastest. Amber. Amber is a hard, yellowish material that comes from trees. The necklace was made from pieces of amber. Charcoal. Charcoal is a black material that is used as fuel for fire. There was burnt charcoal left on the ground from an old fire. Columnist. A columnist is a writer who creates articles about a particular subject. The columnist won praise for his articles about life on the farm. Courteous. When someone is courteous, they are polite and respectful. The mother asked her family to be courteous to their guests. Credentials. Credentials are the proof of someone's experience or ability to do something. The mechanic hung his credentials on his office wall. Cricket. A cricket is an insect that makes loud noises, usually at night. In the country, we could see the stars and hear the crickets at night. Delta. A delta is a flat area where a river splits into smaller rivers that flow into the sea. The archaeologists found many ancient materials in the delta of the Nile River. Detergent. Detergent is soap that is used to clean clothes or dishes. My brother added too much detergent to the wash and bubbles got all over the floor. Euphemism. A euphemism is a term that is used in place of a mean or unpleasant word. Window maintenance officer is a euphemism for a window washer. Expire. To expire is to no longer be effective because its use has come to an end. The man's driver's license was going to expire in two days. Granite. Granite is a very hard type of rock that is often black or pink. The kitchen counter was made of granite. Gravel. Gravel is a combination of small stones mixed with sand. The ground around the swing set was covered with gravel. Haunt. To haunt is to cause problems or negative thoughts over a long period of time. His thoughts about his scary dream haunted him for weeks. Liberal. When someone is liberal, they accept different ideas and people. My grandparents aren't as liberal as my parents. Maze. A maze is a system of paths that is complicated and easy to get lost in. We got lost in the maze in the garden. Moss. Moss is a small green or yellow plant that grows on wet dirt, rocks, or tree trunks. Be careful not to slip on the moss that's covering those rocks. 
pebble. A pebble is a small round stone. We threw pebbles into the lake to make the water splash. Peck. When a bird pecks, it bites or hits something with its beak. The birds pecked at the seeds on the ground. Reservoir. A reservoir is a place for storing water for a town to use. If it doesn't rain soon, the reservoir is going to dry up completely. Streak. A streak is a long, thin mark that is easy to see. Her hair was brown except for a streak which she dyed blonde. The Mad Hatter. One morning, Lucas sat outside with his grandfather. They looked past the gravel road that led to a natural reservoir on the delta. On the other side of the water, there was a cottage. Does a ghost live there? Lucas asked. No, a Mad Hatter lives there, said his grandfather. Lucas didn't know what a Mad Hatter was, but the image of a scary man haunted him. Later, Lucas went for a walk in the forest. He collected pieces of amber and granite that he found on the ground. He looked at the moss on the trees and watched a bird peck at the ground. But the forest was like a maze. Soon, Lucas was lost. Lucas heard somebody behind him. He wanted to run away, but he fell. He had a streak of blood on his shirt and some pebbles stuck in his skin. Then a man appeared. I will take you home. First, let's get you cleaned up, he said. Lucas followed him. When they arrived at the cottage, he realized the man was the Mad Hatter. He sat down inside. It smelled like charcoal, but it looked like a normal house. The man brought Lucas back some medicine. It's a bit old, but it's not expired, the man said. While Lucas cleaned his cut, the man washed the blood out of his shirt with detergent. Lucas asked, Are you a Mad Hatter? The man laughed and replied, That's a euphemism for a crazy person. Actually, I'm pretty normal. I'm a columnist for a newspaper, said the man. He pointed to his credentials, which hung on the wall. Lucas could hear the crickets outside. It was getting dark, so he asked, Could you take me home now? The man said yes. Lucas was surprised that people thought the man was crazy. He was actually very courteous. Maybe Lucas should have a more liberal attitude. Next time, Lucas wouldn't make judgments about people without getting to know them first. Arduous. When something is arduous, it demands great effort or labor. The explorers began their arduous hike up the steep mountain. Attain. To attain something means to gain or achieve it, often after a lot of effort. In two more years, I will attain my high school diploma. Coexist. To coexist with something means to exist with it in the same time and place. Our pets coexist at our home with little or no problems. Conceive. To conceive something means to be able to imagine or believe it. The child could not conceive the actual size of the earth. Dubious. When something or someone is dubious, they are not considered honest. The police thought that the man's description of the crime was dubious. Ego. An ego is a person's sense of their own worth. Kelly's ego made her think that she was some kind of a superhero. Elastic. Elastic is a rubber that stretches when it is pulled. He attached the elastic bungee to his legs before he jumped off the platform. Endeavor. An endeavor is an attempt to do something, especially something new or original. The company's new advertising endeavor ended in a horrible failure. Engrave. To engrave means to cut a design or words into the surface of something. The couple engraved their names onto the old pine tree. Excavate. To excavate means to dig on land and remove dirt to look for something. The team wishes to excavate the site in hopes of finding fossils. Jagged. When something is jagged, it has a tough, uneven shape or edge. The swimmer was hurt when he fell onto the jagged rocks. Locale. 
A locale is a small area or place where something specific happens. The spa was the perfect locale for my mother to relax and enjoy her vacation. Mold. A mold is a hollow container that is used to make certain shapes. Using a cupcake mold will ensure that they come out just right. Outright. When something is outright, it is open and direct. Everyone knew that the boy's story was an outright lie. Periphery. The periphery of an area, place, or thing is the edge of it. A beautiful floral pattern is on the periphery of the stationery. Plaster. Plaster is a smooth paste that gets hard when it dries. He used plaster to fill in the cracks in the old walls. Shovel. A shovel is a tool with a long handle that is used for digging. The boy grabbed his shovel and got all of the snow off of the sidewalk. Skeletal. When something is skeletal, it relates to bones in the body. We studied the skeletal system in anatomy class. Terrestrial. If something is terrestrial, it relates to Earth. There are billions of terrestrial life forms. Vicious. When something or someone is vicious, they are violent and cruel. The vicious dog tried to bite the small child. The fossil hunters. Tim and Dean were great fossil hunters. They were the very best at finding dinosaur bones. Although Tim and Dean were quite similar, they were outright enemies. The two men got into vicious arguments all the time. They couldn't coexist peacefully because their egos were too large. Tim thought he was the best fossil hunter, while Dean was sure that he was much better than Tim. One day, Tim was searching for fossils on the periphery of the city when he discovered a huge bone. He had never seen anything like it. He took a shovel and carefully excavated the dirt around it. As he dug, he uncovered more jagged bones. He realized that he had found an entire dinosaur skeleton. Tim couldn't conceive a plan to remove the huge skeleton all by himself. Such an endeavor would be too arduous. He needed help. He tried to think of people who would be capable of helping him remove the skeleton without breaking it. The only person Tim could think of was Dean, his enemy. Tim ran into the city to find Dean. Tim found him and said, "Dean, I found the skeletal remains of a huge terrestrial animal, but." I can't get the skeleton out by myself. Will you please help me? Dean thought that Tim's claim might be dubious. He replied, "If you're serious about the skeleton, I'll help." Tim excitedly showed Dean the skeleton's locale. They worked together to carefully remove each bone, and to keep the bones together, they tied them with elastic strips. When they were finished, they had attained a perfect skeleton. They used plaster to make a mold of the dinosaur's skull. They engraved their initials into it and gave it to the curator of a local museum. Tim and Dean found out that they could work very well together. They decided to end their feud and become friends. By combining their talents, the men became even greater than they were before.